Jim Jeffries in studio playing. <laughs> we had no idea. I'm serious. You, I, and usually we do. It, right. uh, I didn't know you were playing Caroline's this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm at Caroline's this week. Yeah. Not all shows, though. What shows are you there? I'm, only, I'm doing uh, the, the late show tonight, and then I'm, I, I'm not doing anything for Halloween, and then I'm doing it for the Saturday, Sunday. I don't know what they're doing at Halloween. This has been my first Halloween in New York. I'm very excited. I haven't got a party to go to yet, so if anyone's got anything that's oh, got a lot of girls, I've got a party going on Friday night. <laughs> no, right. no. He should go down to... Um, Oh, you know, there's a great uh, party that goes on down in uh, the village. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is the place to be every year. Is yeah. it? Oh, yeah. A guy like oh, you, yeah. it's perfect. I haven't got an outfit. I'm, I want to go as foreign people. guy. A foreign guy would be perfect foreign down there. Foreign guy is the best guy because you, 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 you meet girls and you just go, you go, oh, I don't know about the costumes. You meant to wear a costume. You act stupid. Yeah. People love stupid. And I'm, I'm guessing now from the looks, the village is gay, isn't it? Well, it's gay. It's just gay face. Just I think I figured out. Cut the just, back just of your pants out. Just a little tiny bit, a little, little wink here and there. Uh, you are sharp. Yeah, yeah. I'm, hey, I'm we had our poker faces on too, man. You are good. Yeah. You just, yeah, go out. Anything that's called the anything is Assless always gay. chaps. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Jeff and Jim are offended by the village. <laughs> They don't agree with. I'm looking at We're Jeff and Jim. Guys. Oh, We're John, two guys John that Jeff, don't yeah. agree with having chins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they seriously have. They got no jawline. Yeah, they're um, they're not good. You get that from eating Thai hookers. Oh yeah, <laughs> that one is the one on the left. That little one, that is really um inappropriate. Little? Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, well, he Where? enjoys his trips to Thailand. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? And no one, <laughs> no one pays his health care when he's over there because he doesn't agree with it. No, he no. He gives it mail back to America. That's how he likes it. And wait a minute, don't you have no health care here anyway? So um, why are they going? Why are they going when immigrants get sick? You have to mail the health care back. If you have got no health care, what's to mail back? Ah, if you get in trouble here, you go to the hospital. They have to treat you. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. they do. They just make you wait for like what, what type of country? Yeah, you just wait with a head wound. And... Why well, you got the health care in? Uh, where are you, you from ev again? Everywhere else in the world's got the health care. Yeah, you, you, you name a country, I'll tell you. Oh, we're still fighting against it. Oh, no, we can't have this. No, it's the best thing in the world. It costs too much money when I... you're the defender of the world yeah. to uh, take care of everybody. That's just the way it is in this country. I we're somewhere. like the head muckety-muck. If it wasn't for the United States, all the countries with health care wouldn't need it because some totalitarian government would storm in and kill everybody anyway. Oh, I love the health care, mate. Sometimes I trip over hurt myself just so I can get a fast lift home. <laughs> Like, oh, geez, it's, it's, that, it's that level. Oh, I feel a bit better. Thanks, lads. You know, no, no one, no one says anything about it. I, I go because because uh, Jeffries is actually my middle name. I have a different surname. I changed it to Jim Jeffries when I got into comedy. I go in there and just call myself Jim Jeffries when I go into hospital. No one questions it. No one asks for any ID. Really? Oh yeah. Come back with a positive AIDS test and off I go. No, no one's <laughs> even phased. <laughs> they let me back out in society and go, don't you be shagging any woman without a dom on. And I go, I won't, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I love the medical service. I, I, I tell this on stage, but it's true. The, uh, the, the medical service in, in uh, Britain is so poor that when I was in Australia, I got a, my blood pressure checked. And the, the Australian doctor was like, Jim, your blood pressure is really high. You're going to have to go on medication. And then he goes, oh, look, go back, get it tested again in London, see how you go. I go back to London, get it tested again, and I get exactly the same readout that I got in Australia. And the English doctor goes, oh, you're good. And I went, <laughs> I went what? The doctor in Australia said that was too high. And he went, ah, Australians with their salads and sport. <laughs> their standards are too high. <laughs> so I don't have to go on medication. I just, just moved to crappier countries. Yeah, nor <laughs> north of the equator, it was a great blood pressure. <laughs> Once you go south of the equator, it's uh, They're very healthy bad, in Australia. Yeah. Very healthy. Australia's got good medical They're all care. strapping. They are. There. A bunch strappy. of strapping men down there. Um, yes, yeah, right. very. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> we, have the, we have the biggest uh, gay population in the world in Sydney. Really? It, it, is a place, it is a place that was founded on convicts. So what did we think was going to happen? Yeah. Like, kinda, what, what do we think the outcome would be? They got used to doing that, I guess. Sydney, no, Sydney's got the, yeah, the biggest gay by mile. Beat San Francisco and all that by mile. Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. That's, San Francisco. Is that a gay town? Is that a gay oh, town? boy, oh. is it. Wow. Yeah. Wowie kazowie, is it? Yeah. <laughs> the drinking water is white and milky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, comes out of the fountains and you, you just let it splash you in the face. Yeah, there's no, there's no force. You, you, you have to squeeze these things hanging on. 
slap yourself in the face with the fountain. <laughs> this says the man wearing the San Francisco jumper. It's all very convenient today. <laughs> oh, Jimmy does have a, a San Francisco hoodie on today. <laughs> oh, I, I yeah. actually didn't realize I was yeah, wearing no, 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 The hoodie so that people can't see him in the looks park. Like, looks like someone likes that city. <laughs> yeah, no, I went with a chick, okay? <laughs> but like, I lost my sense of humor. I ain't gay. I go to girl. <laughs> Dude, I came, uh, I came back from San Francisco. I said exactly that. I went to San Francisco. Man, the women, they're the hottest ones in the in, in the, uh, the country. That's because they live You feel like you have to, like, defend. That's because they're untouched. Of course they are. But yeah. you feel like you have to defend that you went to San Francisco. If, if you're not beaten down all day, you're going to be good looking as well. <laughs> yeah. Gay men just stroke and hug them. <laughs> yeah, they go shopping with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've them. got the best people in the world dressing those girls. <laughs> Uh, you want to do more John and Jeff stuff or what? As long as we don't poke fun. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> let's not be mean spirited. These guys are good. Well, maybe we could get uh, you know Jeffrey's angle on this. Uh, for the whole month of October, we're just featuring horrendous radio. Right. It's called Jocktober, you know. And we got this uh, show. They they're John and Jeff. They do overnights, and they're just horrendous. I, I'm sure you've done a, a lot of bad radio shows in your day. Huh? I I have been on them and, and done them and <laughs> and yes, been part, part of, of them. them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. Well, we get back into this with John Jeff. They asked their trivia question. Every morning show needs a trivia question. Of course. Sam, why don't we have a trivia question? That's I don't different. know. I mean, if you care about the callers, you want to get them involved a little bit, you got to have a trivia question so we can call up and win some fun stuff. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcastic ass. And in an effort to fill time, they repeat and rephrase it for 60 seconds. Yes, this is a minute. Of the question being asked over and over again. Why? But it's kind of a complicated question. Did it have to fit into the music bed they were using? I think they just have a lot of time to fill overnight. All right, here we go. <laughs> overnight. The John and Jeff trivia question. So here is the stupid useless trivia question. On the line, two party passes to our third shift, 10th anniversary party. Here's the question. Ten years <laughs> doing overnights? They you do overnights you for... I, I had to do overnights. You, you do a couple of years and you get the F out and you move up. That's like radio school. Right. It's like radio school. You do overnights so you learn how to do it and then you move on. That's like they spent 10 years in school. 10 years. Some people They give this shift to college kids because they don't want to pay them. Yeah. I, I'd take an overnight shift. Would you really? Yeah, just to get my own show. Go on, sort it out. Some people take yeah. <laughs> 10 years. You know. Some people make the morning commute earlier. <laughs> That's their uh, the little slug line. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. very popular with bakers. So here is the stupid <laughs> useless trivia question. On the line, two party passes to our third shift, 10th anniversary party. Here's oh the question. God. Years. 50 percent of these items purchased are returned for exchange or refund. Tie hookers. Jeff, could you yes. please repeat that question? question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then he says, could you repeat that question? Repeat it? For Just what like reason? You didn't get it. It was very complicated. Are returned for exchange or refund? Jeff, could you please repeat that question? Please? All right. 50% of these items purchased are returned for exchange or refund. What item? Adult diapers. What is it? <laughs> Hang on. I think we've got one more repeat. You think? I think, yeah, I think we might. Or maybe even two. One what more. is it? People buy these, and then 50% of them are returned for uh, refund or exchange. Hmm, let me think about this. Yeah. I'm going to go your soul. Half the people return these for a refund or an exchange. Yeah, uh, what do you John think it is? They're John and Jeff stickers. <laughs> it's like a 50% of these items per... Oh, my God, they're still doing it. Of course they are. 50%. Half? These are John and Jeff party tickets on the line. We got to make sure the question. <laughs> they have a party. The yes. party actually goes from six in the morning till ten in the morning because they're busy at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a nighttime party. Oh. It's a lunch. They're going for a fifth repeat of that dumb question. I thought sure. three would be a lot. No, the people have to know mm. the question. Hmm. What is the question? Fifty percent of these items purchased are returned for exchange or refund. Don't don't do it for sixth time, please don't. <clears throat> It's got to be Oof. a fruitcake. <laughs> Actually, that's as good an answer oh. as any, fruitcake. Yeah, that's... That's what he leaves on Thai girl's back. <laughs> fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> or, or boys. <laughs> or fruity young boys. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> we don't get the answer, do we? 
No. Okay. They will, they will never know. <laughs> no. I have to have the answer. I would now. like no, to no, know what fifty percent of people. All right, well, Sam, Sam knows how to do this bit. Next track is Michael calls in and tries to answer the question, displaying the utter excitement this bit brings. <laughs> right, because if he gets it right, you got to believe that it's going to be somebody jumping for joy. Yeah. If he gets it wrong, it's just going to be someone crushed. Because oh. of the tickets that are on the line. Yeah, just the raw emotion in this guy's voice. All right. All right, let's go to Michael. You're next on the John and Jeff Show. Hello, Mike. Yes, I'm here. Um, good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Um, in reference to, uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna take a guess at your uh, question. I'm thinking it's neckties, but I don't know. But that's neither here nor there. All right, hold on. Okay. Is, is that your final answer? That's the only answer. So you think 50 percent of neckties are returned for exchange or refund? <laughs> I just made a wild guess. Okay, wild <laughs> guess. Let's see if that wild guess pays off. That is not uh, the answer I have. Oh, 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 oh wow. Uh, he was it, almost right with Colombian neckties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you hang yourself with him, you can't take him back. <laughs> you hear how disappointed he was, though, right? What did he yeah. say? Yeah. He said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. What you win is a free hammer to break your radio with. Wow. No, no, no! It was a serious statement. No, no, no! Hey, more oh wait, you thought booty, booty, boo, boo. Wait, oh, you thought that was a joke? No, no, no. no. Factual, factual, actual yeah. prize. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> Ooh, the funniest joke of them all. <laughs> that wasn't a soundbite. That was me. In case you people at home, <laughs> Jim Jeffries does a great homer, man. Uh, well, Sam, I mean, you had to give us more audio on the trivia question, huh? Yeah, it's a big Daniel staple bit. Daniel tries to answer the question, which leads to some very funny situational jokes. Right. You know how sometimes, like, a humorist will take a situation and make it funny? Yeah. That's right. What these guys do. All That's right. How they roll. Yeah. Go to Daniel, you're next on the John and Jeff show. Hello. Hey, guys. What's going on? You're going on the radio. <laughs> All right. I think I have an answer for the stupid, useless trivia. What is it? Mattresses. Mattresses. Hmm. Now, how long can you wait until you return the mattress? Can you wait five? <laughs> Are they mad because he got the answer right? No. They oh, okay. What that is, that's the comedic wheels turning in their head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that hmm is shifting a gear in yeah. a... Hmm, let me think now. There's comedy gold here somewhere, and I'm going to yeah. mine for it. People have sex on mattresses, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that happens. And sex is funny. They sleep on it. They do, where's something? Let me just craft this joke on the spot. Don't tell me they do the mattress tag joke. I, I will strangle you. Uh, Don't tell me that's where they're going to go with this. Don't tell him. Just let it find out. You know, where yeah. you're not supposed to rip the tag uh, off. Under There's an old staple. To, morning shows like to joke about that. Well, this is an They like to show joke. how edgy they are. This is an overnight show. For the record, oh, not right. a morning show. Yes, you're not going to well, answer me. Morning. No, I don't want to get starts strangled. earlier. All right. Yes. Well, let's see where they go with the mattress thing. Can you wait until you return the mattress? Can you wait five years and say I don't like it, or is no. there a deadline on a mattress? Like, like think about. I don't know. Maybe it's a ninety-day money-back guarantee. If you're not fully satisfied, you can bring it back. And but imagine if you sleep on a mattress for ninety days and say, ah, you know, oh, eighty-nine days. You know what? I don't want this. You bring it back so and go you, to the next store. You've used the mattress for ninety days. You get a refund. You just swap mattresses out every ninety days. You go to a store once a year and you find four stores and you do that. Wait, that would be the biggest what? pain in the ass. You yeah. know how. Who wants a new mattress every 90 days? Right. You just got used to the old one. The last thing I want is a new mattress. Sim, I'm so with Let it. Let alone finding four stores and most, doing it. Most people don't buy a new mattress because it's a major hassle yeah. to get the old one out of your stupid room. I'll have room. a spring going <laughs> through my spine before right. I right. venture down right. to the mattress store. you got to call up your buddies. they got to figure out how to get the mattress you know, uh, down Five, you know, or, yeah, but you could fight the stairs. It. Or you have it delivered, and you have to now wait between the hours of 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. for the delivery to show up. But it's just a pain in the ass. And also, if you exchange them, there's going to be slight altercations in price, and that's going to cause confusion. Right. There's none of this makes any sense. 
This isn't convenient or good. Why, Why would, would that you be do funny? this? Funny. There's no, there's nothing fun about that. Sometimes when you get the dead hooker smell, you gotta remove your mattress. <laughs> yeah. When a young Thailand boy is found dead on your bed, you know you gotta get rid of that thing. Every ninety days. Every, every ninety days. What? No, not eight, ninety days. Every eighty nine days. Right, you right. He said eighty nine days. Which, which the problem is, there's gonna be a few days left over there that you don't. Well, you get four mattresses yeah. a year, though. That's yeah, terrific. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you really no, you get more than four. because you really wear out a mattress oh. after eighty nine days. Too, Kevin huh? from Connecticut saying, "And leave the last s off for sodomy." <laughs> <laughs> Why are there four knee prints really close to each other? <laughs> two and two directly behind us. <laughs> <laughs> But they'd never have to pay for the mattress. Uh, John and Jeff think no. you shouldn't have a mattress for more than 90 days. Well, Sam just put it all in perspective. What? Because yeah, you'd never have to pay for the mattress. Right, right. You'd Wouldn't you? It's still no. a major hassle. I but, thought you paid for it, didn't paid like it, it, then you exchange it for another one. And when you exchange something, you still have to, they don't give you the money back oh, and right, another right. product. So what well, is he no, talking about? Because you go to a different store, you got to get your money back for that mattress and use that mattress money for a new mattress and the cycle of it but all. But it's still oh, your money originally. Can you imagine? Yeah, but the money's already out there, always out there in the universe. You're oh, getting a new it. mattress for the, the same the, money. There, there yeah. would be a time when you're in the car driving between stores where you'd be cashed up again, and that, those would be good times, <laughs> wouldn't they? Those would be, those would be good those times. Those are the good times. <laughs> but if you did this for several years, you'd never have to buy a second mattress. Right. Can you imagine driving that, on a highway with a mattress on the top of your car every three months? Oh, oh. Then go, there yeah. it goes Jeff like again. Right. There yeah. he goes. It no one's on to his scam. <laughs> trying, to trying to bring back a pillow with teeth prints in it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the mattress humor's got to stop here, right? How do we wrap up the John Jeff uh, Jocktober bit there, Sam? No, we keep going with the mattress <laughs> stuff. Oh. Oh, they must oh, say oh, more oh, about oh, the mattress. Yeah, hope hope so. the rest of the mattress. Please. Alright. There Hopefully. must be other pearls in there. There's Hopefully. two more tracks about the mattress? I had to edit it, so we did take some Enough stuff out. about the mattress. <laughs> um, is it still illegal to tear that tag off your mattress? There you because go. are the fitter? There you go. There it is. Who knows radio? There I don't, I don't know go. that joke. What is that joke? It's, it's, There's a tag. A, um, there it's you like go. It's like a tag that says that uh, the mattress has um, uh, not been... Uh, 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 Pampered. Yeah, like dirty or used or, you know, it's like one of those sanitary. It's a sanitary tag. Like it says that it's sanitary. Yeah, yeah. And it's got, like, what's on it, what's in the mattress, what it's made of kind of a thing. And pillows have them on there, too. And it says, uh, this tag uh, is only to be removed by consumer under penalty of law. But people have taken it to, uh, like, comedians, uh, old hack comedians back in the Mostly old morning days. shows. Mm. And morning shows. Have taken it, like, literally, like, if you remove the tag, the the pillow or mattress police are going to come in right. and oh, right. have to arrest you because <laughs> it, says, it does say under penalty of law. Oh. But I do believe they mean that if the, if the store where they're selling these mattresses takes the tag off, to you know do any kind of shenanigans with the consumer yeah. that there's some kind of law that they could be fined for it or something no one's going to mattress jail no that's all i'm saying it's a way of showing that you're an edgy human being yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh crazy. yeah you're, 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 you're just, crazy i don't hey, follow the you, rules would you cut the tag off a mattress or something what are you oh, insane what are you in for look at this guy <laughs> all right, all right. Can, I, can i hear the rest of their jokes one see, step see, ahead yeah. of the law this they're, one they're gonna, they're gonna tell it more they're gonna tell right. it awesome oh though. yeah it's gonna be great yeah. i feel like anthony's timing was all out there i don't feel, yeah. I feel uh, you didn't right, do justice it's such good material it's terrible <laughs> i know now we're gonna get the funny all right i swear i didn't hear this clip but listen for the outrage, listen for the, oh, my God, you're, you're crazy, probably over-the-top laughter. Sometimes people take the mattress joke kind of like what Anthony said, yeah. but they take it to the next level. Oh. Whoa. Well, that, uh, I wish. We it, wish we could be John I wish Jeff. I could do that. We it, can only take it so far. These guys know no. how to really it's like, hammer the point home. It's like Anthony's mattress joke on crack. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I've never taken Sam crack man. before. This is good. <laughs> this will be an experience. All right, here we go. We can only dream that we can be as good as these guys. Yeah. Um, is it still illegal to tear that tag off your mattress? Because are the federal the federals going to uh, come into our homes and and you do, know, a, do a, an inspection? John, I uh, you know I, I'm not proud of this, but uh, in 1995. 
I, on a dare, I ripped, uh, I was with a lady, John, <laughs> and, uh, before, in my single days. Things got a little, uh, well, we, you know, aggressive. I was trying to impress her, and she said, Someone oh. held on to the tag, she, and. She said, uh, Jeff, I dare you to rip that the mattress tag off. I dare you. And of course, I wanted to be the man, and I was in a good mood. This time? And I ripped that, that, uh, <laughs> A tag off, and John, the helicopters, the loudspeakers, within five minutes, the feds were there, and uh, I was detained for a while. Yeah, what is it about that tag on your mattress that is <laughs> that is so precious to I the mean, federal government? They, they showed up, and uh, yeah, I was detained and questioned. Why don't we have the presidential candidate say, tear off those tags. <laughs> Where's Reagan when we need him? All right, look, these guys, need, uh, they need to be fired. There was helicopters. <laughs> They're trying to get fired. No one will fire them. But, but the, the bit where he goes, he goes uh, so I was dared to and I wanted to be a man. Be a man. Yes. 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 Yep. Show me a vagina. Cause, I said, cause, what's that? Because yeah. you know the girls all sit around going, I want to date a real man. I want to date a guy who can make a flimsy joke about ripping things off mattresses. <laughs> oh. Where, oh. where are all those men in this city? Dude, you know something? That was worse than I even imagined it could be. <laughs> like, I knew the tag joke. Ope knew exactly where it was going. And Sam was right. They yeah. took it to a whole new level. Yeah. It was so much worse than any tag joke I've ever heard. That's That could be the worst banter I've ever heard done in public. <laughs> ever. About anything. Like, serious or comedically. Right. It was just uninteresting. Yeah, I bet you it was their last break in the morning too, because they knew that that's when they have the biggest audience. High fives yeah. all around. So it was it was penciled in for five fifty a.m. or whatever the hell What's the time would be. What's with that tag? Yeah. No, huh? John, John, he's a stupid thing with his J's. What's John. with that tag though? Get some fake the federales. Get yeah. some fake caller to bring up mattresses so they can read. <laughs> Why does he go bring Reagan back? Was he known for his strong stance on these type of things? Like I'm, I'm not from this country, so pardon me if I'm ignorant. Well, let me. I, I'll try. <laughs> you can try to. I'll work try the right to angle. work that angle. <laughs> it was almost like a Mr. Gorbachev tear down that wall. Oh, and he was right. Like, tear right. off that tag, and then he goes like, "Reg, boy, did he go off on a tangent?" Yeah. Holy, he, he's crap. comparing the Berlin Wall. Yeah, to yeah. tags and mattresses to the Either tag. That, or it's a joke that only an Alzheimer's patient would tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get the uh, the grand finale here of the John oh. Jeff show. Yeah. I'm, oh. uh, now I'm sad that uh, Jack Tober's oh. almost over. I hope it's two yeah. gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I hope their show ends the way Dylan and Eric's did in Columbine. <laughs> He's wearing a glove from the same set. <laughs> You know what's great about this whole thing? <laughs> Corporate here in New York City, scratching their heads. Ah, we don't understand what's wrong with radio. What's uh, the problem? How about you start with John and Jeff and, and show them the, the door? Are they, are, they, are they big time, these guys? They they're they're, they're the, the big the overnight the show for this room. company. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, but they make a good living being sure. knobs, sure. right? Probably. Being thick as pigs. Probably. I, yeah, I can right. think probably. of do all right. I, think, yeah. I can think of easily a dozen people that should be doing this shift. Right. Easily. All right, here's the big uh, finale. The big payoff, Sam writes. Yes. Anyway, are uh, mattresses the most 50% uh, return or exchange item? Daniel, that is not the answer I have. Oh, yeah. All that improv. Yes. What's the, yes. An what's the answer? I don't know. I stopped yeah. listening. I mean, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't keep on, oh, man. I have yeah. to know the answer I, now, I, Sam. I have to know because yeah. in the end they go, that's right, it's cake. All right. <laughs> it's cake. <laughs> yeah, because they're going to make a big thing of it. No, it is. Yes, it is. That's the answer. Did you get the answer for we later the on the answer. show? Yeah, and fine. they'll relay their personal experiences with that item. Uh, sure. I've returned that before. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I can. <laughs> Jeffries, we love messing with the audience because we know a lot of them have that OCD thing and they need to know the answer now. And, and that's when we go, no, you don't get the answer. Guys, I'm not so will know it. And it's like a who cares answer, but to them, it's everything. They yeah, need yeah. to know the answer or they can't There's leave their house. There's people Googling as we speak. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, Jim Jeffries is going to be at Caroline's. It's a, it's a weird schedule for him because he's uh, wrapped around the Halloween thing. So you're there tonight. Late show tonight. Late show tonight. Nothing on Halloween. You're it's Saturday, Sunday. You really should go see Jim Jeffries. Yeah, he's hilarious. You really should. He uh, was on uh, Jim Norton's Down and Dirty Show on HBO, and he was just amazing. He was great, man. Jim was one of the uh, favorites that people uh, people loved him. That's very nice. That's going to lead to some things for you, Jim. 
Hope so. There was some nice exposure there. And then what, uh, Caroline, Saturday? And Sunday. And Sunday, but and not Sunday. Friday because it's Halloween. But, but not Friday because it's Halloween. But I, 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 is Halloween a big deal? Is well, we're doing happen? a Halloween party if you want to come. I'll come. Times yeah. Square, with Hard be, Rock Cafe. Would it, it be nice looking girls there? No, not at one of our events. Well, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. You'd be like, who's that group of girls? We'll go, it's one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I, I just, I'm not dressing up. Do I have to dress up? Okay, no, you know, no. Right. We, we don't dress up. You know well, that. Anthony dresses up, but I yeah. usually just go as some kind of Renaissance. But not guy. this year, right? But probably not this year. Parties from I seven just to do ten. It so I could carry a real sword around. Uh, l last <laughs> it's time, it's a lot of fun having an actual yeah. rapier that I can impale somebody <laughs> with. A oh, rapist with a rapier, how great! <laughs> <laughs> I was in LA last Halloween, and I, I went out, and it turned. See. What I don't understand is all the girls get, like, you know, can I say the word slutted on radio? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. They all get slutted up, right? And I, I didn't, what happens to me is I'm quite, I wouldn't say rapey drunk, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lecherous drunk, right? And I got all pissed up. These girls didn't think, I, 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 I it turns out, right, I went out with all these people from the industry. My, my, my agency took me out to this party in L.A. Turns out I'm never allowed to work for Waters. I don't know what I did. Wow. Right? But there was some girl that I, I didn't pinch her on the ass or anything. I put my arm around her allegedly when I was pissed. And now pissed means drunk, of course. Yeah, of course. And, uh, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to work for Waters. So I'm, you I'm can't work for Waters? For, for Water Brothers. A no. Warners. No, 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 no. Waters. <laughs> I was like, who gives a crap about this unknown company named Waters? Yeah, Waters. <laughs> the Waters Company. What, what do they you ever do for you? probably put your hand around her Warners. and thought That's you just bad. had your hand around her waist, but you kind of went a little far. In, in you know Britain, you that's like a low. A American girls are very sensitive to things like that. Yeah. Where, where in, in, it's just, you know, you, you've been taught about rights and things in school, and it's not right. No. So you could just go to Britain and pretty much just, like, start grabbing cans of and Of course you can. The, the girls love the attention. Oh, fantastic. We got to move there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. We got, uh, wow. Is Jason Mews here now? Very cool. Yeah, Jason Mews is going to be here. Uh, he's uh, right outside the door, uh, one of the stars of Kevin Smith's new movie. Zach and Mary make a porno. That's right. We'll talk to him uh, next. Sam, great job, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Culling that uh, comedy genius. He will get the answer, though, for after the break. Please. Find it. And we got girls that are going to be uh, dancing on the stripper pole. And Seth Rogen is calling in at 8.50. So uh, to the affiliates, we might go a little late today. A lot of action. So you decide what you need to do, but I think we're going to... We're still going over to satellite, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we do oh, it. yeah. i got a few things I want to talk about on satellite. All right. And then we do, this, <laughs> then we do the CB radio and, uh, you know, yeah. and then our podcast. Walkie talkies. And, yeah. Yes. Opie and Anthony will continue. Opie and Anthony. Jim Jeffries in studio, one of our favorite comedians. Yay. He travels the world with his comedy, <laughs> doing a whole bunch of uh, Nights at Caroline's. 212-757-4100. Uh, is that, is that number to buy tickets for me? Yes. yes. Do that. Do that, please. Late show tonight and then Saturday, Sunday. That's right. Come, and to, come tonight. I've got some people coming. I want to impress. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's fill up Caroline's tonight. <laughs> uh, very important people. Yeah. Checking it out for maybe some things. Very maybe important some things. People. Very important So that means people. you're really going to try tonight. I'm going to I'm gonna put some effort in. I'm not going to get drunk or nothing. All right. Well, I might, I'll get a little bit drunk, but not like stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you know, know Jason Mews? I, I, we met the guy. Hello, Jason. What's up, man? Hello, hello. Jason Mews in studio, of course, one of the stars of uh, Zach and Miri Make a Porno. Yeah. A movie I saw and I really, really liked. You liked it? I didn't like uh, you nude, though. I, I <laughs> wouldn't either. So <laughs> I, I closed my eyes at the end for that. I don't know how you do that. Full frontal, you know, right? Uh, yes. uh, ridiculous. Just uh, like not a care in the world, you know, in the in the world. You came, you came close though in uh, in uh, Clerks too, where you did the tuck. Yeah, there was it was almost all exposed, but I I tucked it so. You did the uh, famous uh, tuck, yeah. <laughs> it, it went uh, each movie I think gradually got to that point, right? Because I, I in Jay and Bob I pull my my ass out and. Uh, yeah, you know what I could say I could say whatever here, right? Yeah, yeah we'll figure it out. Uh, my uh, my junk my testicles were hanging from the back. <laughs> oh. Jay and Bob, so you saw they, the... they call that flies eyes in Australia. <laughs> well, there you That's what they it. call it in Australia, <laughs> flies on. eyes. I hope you think you've never heard a new one. <laughs> hold on, because they probably dumped out of what Jason Mew said, and the, the Jim Jeffries line probably made it. But you're explaining something you did in uh, Jay and Silent Bob. 
And Jim Jeffrey said that they call that flies eyes in Australia. Yeah, so eyes. now you can just imagine what uh, Jason Mewes. If, you, if you're looking at a naked guy from the back, right. and you can see between his legs from the back, what you'll see looks like flies <laughs> eyes. <laughs> it's it's a pretty accurate one though, isn't it? It's a good uh, one. It's, flies yeah, eyes. That is a good I, one. I give that to the American people. That's flies eyes. Thank, thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> I, would, I love well, how we can exchange things know. like this through <laughs> different countries and yeah. cultures. Yes, we give you electricity, and you give us flies <laughs> eyes. <laughs> It's uh, it, Kevin was talk, was talking about you doing your your full frontal scene, and he says you're one of those guys that just like loves to just be inappropriate and whip it out like like hey man, and then when he turns and looks, there it is. Yeah, I do that a lot to him, to my friends though. I don't really go around <laughs> doing it. Um, when I was younger, I used to do it in school to the girls. And, <laughs> okay, that's funny. yeah. When I was in like sixth grade, I used to like pull it out and out of my sweats and be like, come here, I want to show you something. That's in Australia, we call that rape. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Come here, I want to show you nice something. Can, can never be not creepy. <laughs> it's never going to be a good thing when you're... Yeah, it was a little <laughs> creepy. That's why I didn't, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was about 19, so yeah. that's probably why. Was the reaction ever good? Were they ever, like, impressed? Like, oh, or was it always horrendous? No, it was always horrendous. <laughs> yeah. and, and I heard that, because uh, I've yet to see the movie... Uh, Ope saw it, uh -huh. and I heard um, uh, Kevin was saying also that you you were impressive. You were impressive in that scene where you were. He thought you were prepping right before the yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, that you might yeah, have he... prepped a little bit or something. There but... was no prep in him. No? No. I mean, I kept it warm. That was it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah that's really that's preparation, isn't it? Keeping it's it warm. Depending on where you're keeping it warm. It if it's warm? A, maybe, a maybe. girl named Kathy or yeah. something. Yeah. No, no, no. no. It, was, it, was, uh, it was in a warehouse where the stage was, and it was really cold. It was super cold in there. So all I did was, was keep my hands over it. Okay. And make sure the blood was flowing. Right. That's a good tip for our wow, so, guys. It is. Yeah. That's a very good tip. Like those it's seats, warm. like those little stadium seats that keep your ass warm. <laughs> yeah. Just sandwich it between two of those. <laughs> Just put it on it. That, that's what I did. He thinks I did more. So I think putting your hands on it is preparation enough, though. That's might that's... might be because there is. We were talking about this also. There's a point. There's a a, a very uh, uh, crucial point where it looks magnificent. Like you're you're really. Pretty proud. You're all right. You're very proud. And then he crosses over into, all right, he's trying. And there's a and, 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 yeah, you kind of look and go, all right, I know he's been prepping. You go from proud to looking desperate. To looking desperate, right. Yeah. I couldn't make it move, put it that way. Cause you know, oh, you okay. Notice, you notice when you get to right when you start getting to that point, you can make you it can move. You can make it move. <laughs> it, it never got to the point that okay. I can make it move. That's okay. when you know. That's hey, we when got... you knew when you can wiggle it. <laughs> did, did, I, did I ever tell you this story about when I was hosting the, the NME Awards? It was the last time I was out here. I was hosting the NME Awards. And uh, it, like a music awards for Britain, but they held them in L.A., right? And Agnes Dean, the supermodel, came up and gave me a kiss on the cheek before she was presenting. And I, I, got, a, I got a stiffy, right? But I didn't know I got a stiffy because I was just excited about the whole idea of a supermodel, right? Then the next award to come up with Red was by Kelly Osborne. Kelly Osborne comes up. She looks down at my pants and she goes, does anyone else notice that Jim Jeffries is sporting a male camel toe, right? <laughs> Eight million people were yeah. watching this worldwide. And I went, well... The reason is that Agnes Dean was up here and I got an erection, but now that Kelly Osborne's here, it's pretty much well gone, right? <laughs> and I got an email, and I don't know 100% whether it was from Sharon Osborne because I got about four of them, but I got an email from a Sharon Osborne that went, Dear nobody, when you're famous, maybe then you can tease the celebrities. Until then, why don't you F off? That's so, probably Sharon. That's Sharon. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I wrote back an email that went, Dear Sharon, when you had all that plastic surgery and pumped the fat out of your thighs, why did you put it in your daughter's face? <laughs> 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 so there's been, wow, there's been, you're brutal. <laughs> there's, been, there's been a little tiny bit of confusion between me and the Osbournes. My mum read this in a paper, and she goes, uh, are you having a fight with uh, Kelly Osbourne? I went, I had a disagreement with Kelly Osbourne. And my mum goes, has her mother gotten involved? And I went, yeah. And she goes, would you like me to call her mum? And I'm like, <laughs> two, two mums going just at going it. At it. <laughs> have a mum off. <laughs> hey, we got Jeff Jim, Jim looks disgusted. Why oh, no, no, no. Oh, Anything with Jim the Osbournes. a giant fan. Yeah. Uh, I didn't, I, you know, I meant it in, in good will. That was the line to say, too, by the way. If Kelly said that, she had, she had to be teased back. You yeah, have she had to. Yeah. yeah, you have to. Yeah, she was uh, setting herself up there. Uh, we got Jeff Anderson on the phone as well, so. Uh, also from Zach and uh, Mary making porno. Jeff. Yes, I've got a mirror set up here, and I can't stop staring at my fly's eyes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> fly's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why they don't have me in the studio. Why aren't you here? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I heard there was going to be 
pole dancers, and I, I like to be on the telephone instead of in person. That kind of thing <laughs> yeah. going on. Why would you want to be here? Yeah, you, exactly. Last time you were on our show, you were great. Uh, you really should come in again. Well, thank you. I would love to come in again. Yeah. So we're talking about Zach and Mary make a porno. Are you guys excited? I mean, the movie I'm comes excited. out Friday finally. Yeah, I'm what pretty are you doing awake, Jeff? I think it's going to be good. Huh? What are you doing awake, Jeff? Uh, you know, this is the time I roll, Jay. You should know that. All right, yeah. <laughs> Something tells sure me that's not, not the truth. <laughs> <laughs> what a great gig. These guys are all friends. They just get to do movies together. Yeah, I know. That sounds like fun. Why don't you guys make a movie? Yeah, too lazy. <laughs> exactly. That's why. You need someone like Kevin that like can kind of bring yeah. everything together, you know? Because all you guys just hanging out and stuff, and then one guy decides, hey, I, I, I'm going to make a movie. Yeah. Gets a camera and everything. Who's yeah, going to get you, a camera? I know. You just film yourself shooting things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Selfish creep. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had to bring someone in. We, uh, we had Tracy Lords on the show yesterday. How was it working with her? Mm. Pretty cool? Or? Yeah, she's nice. I worked with her before. I did a uh, her and Richard Roundtree. We, Richard uh, Roundtree? Yeah, I judged a uh, like geek contest on... <laughs> I forget the name of it exactly, but uh, I had met her before. She's sweet. She's a nice, yeah. nice lady. When you say I worked with her before, everyone's like rooting for 85 or yeah. 83. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been sweet, but that didn't happen. Oh, she was fantastic. <laughs> That's illegal, that stuff. Now you can't watch it, can you? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I would never watch that. Yeah, it's I know, terrible. but it's, it's the only Please. bit of, you know, because it's ch child porn, isn't it? She looked fantastic. Yeah. Which that. child doesn't? <laughs> so uh, hey man have you, have you found that like a lot of the uh, controversy we asked this to kevin too around the word porno being taken out do you think it's going to help or hurt the flick all right I'll just, did i ask that or just think it out loud <laughs> jeff answer that one uh, jeff what do you think of that the controversy you know, I, I'm glad they stuck it in the title. It, it leaves it right out there. Everybody now knows what the movie's about. Let, I mean, let's not dance around it. We, we've we've all made porno. Come on. No, but I mean, do you think them taking it out's gonna hurt? Because really, it should just be able. To, like the fact that they won't advertise it properly in certain places is really aggravating. What, what's wrong with the word porno? Like, we're just it's more American uptight garbage. Yeah. Just it's more. Not, it's not a swear word. Of course, they're not. calling the movie just Zach and Miri. That's, That's it. it. It's, it's yeah. TV it spots might be and called stuff. Will and Grace then. I know. Yeah. What does that mean? You know, it's like, uh, it's, yeah. You know, I, I think it actually works for us. Whenever they try and take away something and hide something, it creates more buzz about it. So I think it, it's going to backfire in the long run. Yeah, Tipper Gore helped. Uh, I mean, Aerosmith thanked her. And who we have here? We had Ludacris, and he said he thanked O'Reilly. And, you know, uh, I guess the, yeah, the harder they push back on something, probably it doesn't make people want to go well, see it look, more. Life of Brian's still banned in something like 15 countries or something. Oh, because of Christ? Because, yeah, you've taken the piss out of Christ, which mm. is, is everyone's mo right, isn't it? Who do, you, who do you play in the film? I haven't seen it. Lester. I play a character, Lester. Which is what? Are you, are you involved in the porn at all? Yes. Oh, yeah, if you're naked, yeah, I guess so. I come and audition for the porn, and I'm one of the porn a actors. Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy's yeah. in the movie, too, by the way. Jimmy got a... Got a part in the movie. That's one line. You know, but you're <laughs> in it. <laughs> Look at Jimmy. One but what's, you're in it. What's your one line? Tell us your one line. I don't actually know which one they kept in. I, I, I Kevin had me. It was um, something to do with cradling the. Uh, cradling something. Yeah, I think Tracy said this one it was in, but I had to write a bunch of uh, lines down. Kevin says, just write porno lines. And so I read a bunch of them, and I think they kept one in. Yeah. I'm going to thank Jim in advance for uh, selling a lot of DVDs for us, because I saw your original scene where they cut that audition scene, and you were in it like four or five times, and every line you did was hysterical. So oh, thank when you. When it comes to DVD time, you're going to sell a lot of DVDs for us just to see your scene. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Oh, he, he has the extra stuff in there. Oh, God. I mean, the first time I saw the cut, I, it was much longer than it was now, and that scene was so funny. <laughs> was there an old lady in there, too? Because I remember we shot that in Pit right outside of Pittsburgh in some <laughs> weird like, uh, theater. There lady in there that is a disaster yeah she was horrible <laughs> but, but it, it's really funny yeah basically jim norton's part of a montage of people trying out for this porno well, well and they're all auditioning one after another yeah, yeah. It's, it's a better so. phrase that jim norton's the star of a montage sure sure that the is, star uh, of the montage the star <laughs> of the montage that just, i stand corrected jim. i stand corrected i don't know that old lady's gonna give you a run yeah. oh yeah I, I dude when you see her like you know she has to be funny an old lady auditioning for pornography has got to be great <laughs> Where did where did you guys like think you'd be fifteen years after like clerks and stuff? Uh, did you did you have any 
inkling that this would still be going on? You'd all just be getting together and making movies? <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. No, not at all. Like, like you said, like when somebody said it, all you guys just get together and make movies. This is kind of like all of us hanging out anyway. Jay is naked. I mean, the only difference between this movie is we finally have hot chicks around. <laughs> but I think, like, if we hadn't been making movies, we'd all be sitting in New Jersey. Jay would be naked. Kevin would be smoking copious cigarettes. I would just be throwing out quips. So, you know, the only difference here is we've got a camera every now and then. Hey, what do you guys think of uh, Kevin discovering pot? <laughs> I love that. He, uh, yeah, he was on our show for like three hours or something like that. He really got into it. He, he's been smoking a lot yeah. of pot the yeah, last five months, Seth, uh, five or six months. Seth like turned him on to a little bit of the weed. Yep. That's how how old are you to find out about pot at this age? He's in his forties. No, and... but he had done it before because I kind of fell into the same thing a little bit because these effing Canadians are a bunch of stoners. Yeah, yeah. Canadians, so yeah. you hook up with like a Canadian or something, and before you know it, you you're smoking pot. And I hadn't smoked weed, and I swear it had to be 20 years. And all of a sudden, I'm just, uh, you know, taking a couple of hits, going, eh, this ain't that bad. This kind of, I remember this being kind of fun and stuff. And and then I, I, I don't want to do anything. I don't, I don't, I didn't go to the range. I wasn't, like, doing anything. I'm like, yeah, I got a pool that I put in, but uh, I don't feel like doing anything in it. I'm just going to sit here and drink beers and smoke weed. And listen to Pink Floyd. And Kevin was but saying the I, same thing. Like, he wasn't doing anything. He'd just lay in his bed in front of that giant tanning TV he's got Yeah. and, uh, and smoke weed. Well, that kind of scares me because I only get to do a movie once every 15 years. And yeah. I get stoned, I'll probably be 75 before I do my next movie. Yeah, you better sober him up fast, man. <laughs> And he, and he talked about the weight gain. He's gained about 100 pounds. He's a little bummed out about that, but he's going to go away and, uh, I guess, uh, smoke a lot of pot and lose weight. Yeah, he gets yeah that's going to work. That, that, that might be a little tough, the two <laughs> things there. Isn't it unbelievable? He did discover it in a big way, man. Like, I haven't gotten an email from him in, like, a year that doesn't mention pot smoking in every sentence. It's unbelievable. Have you tried this weed stuff? Yeah. It's amazing. And, and it's funny, because Kevin, we were talking on, uh, and he's like, well, you know, because I'm not really, I don't really have, like, a compulsive or addictive personality. It's like, what are you talking about? Of course you do. <laughs> you just, you, you, you can't stop smoking pot. You just described it. <laughs> yes, you are compulsive. Yeah. Hey, are you, uh, you, you have, uh, how's your things going? You're doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, you're still, everything's cool. Yeah, everything's cool. Yeah. Yes. Hang Just in. take it from Jimmy Norton. Well, I, I love yeah. that Kevin <laughs> rode through all that stuff with Jay. Yeah. And, and was like Jay's counselor and got Jay through it. And the minute Jay straightens himself out, Kevin's like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair for uh, Jay well, all whatsoever. All the times I was trying to stop you, it looked like fun. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Well, they're taking shifts. Yeah, he's got yeah, that. Someone's uh, got to take care of someone. He was talking about that giant TV he he got for free. Yeah, yeah. On, on the wall of his uh, bedroom, which apparently is about three feet from his face, and he just lays there mm -hmm. and watches this thing. That to well, me, you know, he, he keeps saying that it's a giant TV. It's actually only a thirteen inch, but he's too stoned to realize. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's three inches That's from his stone. He, he's holding a Verizon phone in his hand with a little screen. <laughs> stoned idiot. <laughs> hey Jeff, you do uh, stand up? I don't do stand up. Why no not? She give, uh, it, give it a shot, man. I don't know. I'm too lazy. Yeah. Look, at, I won't even come in for the show. I know. Look at him. He won't get out of bed. Where are you now? Uh, I'm at my house. Uh, I live just outside of L.A. Oh, you okay, West Coast. Right. Very cool. Yep. Hey, they, um, all, they, they all left Jersey. Of course. Look at this. <laughs> there, yeah. There's a scene in Zach and Mary make a porno that everyone's going to be talking about come Saturday morning when they see the flick. I just need to know, uh, what was that? <laughs> you know, that was, the, that was the strangest day of my life. I'm in my hotel room in Pittsburgh, and I get a call at like 7 in the morning yeah. from like a scientist who's going, do you have any food allergies? <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck is this? And he's like, well, we're mixing up a batch of poop, and we need to know. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I, no, I think I'm good. I think the end result was... Uh, Pudding, cake batter, and a half a can of corn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I didn't know that you wanted to nice. give away the scene. But all right. Uh, what? Well, I don't eats. know what the scene. All right. That, all right, well, I, all right. Just, uh, I don't know if that gives away much. No, okay. Good. It's, good, it's a good. one cup scene. Yeah. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, a call from a scientist. I think we figured this out. I don't think yeah. he was a scientist. He was, he was a key grip. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs>
Wow. Well, they'll be talking about that. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I got I got to see it. Uh, it's it's really yeah, good. Like right when it comes, out. it's I, really I love movie. Kevin's movie. I can't believe I didn't go. I'm such a dope. I mean, there was screenings and stuff they were setting up, and I just I just I, I was like, oh no no, I'll see it. I wanted to wait till Kev was coming in, and I didn't go. Yeah, that's I good. We want your story. twelve bucks. Yeah, I know. I should actually just go to pay to see it and keep the little movie stub. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna buy the bootleg copy down on the street. <laughs> <laughs> some Ethiopian will be selling them. I think it's out today. <laughs> With my luck, I'd bring some chick to try to impress her that I'm in the movie, and then she'd look down at her shoe and miss my whole scene. <laughs> <laughs> One line pony. Nice <laughs> shot. One line pony. <laughs> I'm the worst. Yeah. Listen, listen, we should take a quick break. We got Seth Rogen calling in as well to promote the movie. So, Jeff, of course, you could stay on the line if you'd like. Okay. Well, well you don't have to. Or go to sleep. <laughs> don't, you don't have to feel obligated. How long the break do we have? Like 10 yeah, minutes? Yeah, I'm going to go. Can... 5.30. You could go, so. Jason. You want to smoke? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then smoke. come back, or it's up to you. Know. No, you. Oh, oh, oh no, look at that! No, no, no. Shake no, no, no. her head. Is she mad at us? Right, thank you. No, they got other stuff. Wait, where's he oh, going? Yeah, I have to go do a bunch of stuff. Oh, you, you publicist? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, so we're gonna lose Jason. We oh, might boo. boo. <laughs> we might lose you Jeff. Jeff. You're gonna stay or what? Uh, I'll stay you. Yeah. All right, Jeff Anderson will See, stay you in the phone. You should have been here, Jeff. <laughs> and then we got Jim Jeffries in studio, so we'll figure it all out after the break. Okay, Jason Musa, it was a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Zach and Mary make a porno. Uh, Friday, Friday. This Friday premieres. Absolutely. Opening yes. Anthony. Right. I want to thank Jason Muse for stopping by. Zach and Mary make a porno. Opens Friday wide. Right, Roland? And I guess we lost Jeff Anderson. Did I hang up on him? I don't think I did. Maybe he did. He's a funny mother effer. Yeah, he was I'd, great, man. I'd have gone to sleep if I was him. Yeah, you ten LA, minute break. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a long break. He's out there in L.A., so it's early. And We're gonna have uh, Seth Rogen on the phone in a minute Careful. or so. It's very exciting. Uh, gotcha. Wow, you really? Like <laughs> that was a good one. Oops, head just turned like. Oh. <laughs> but then again, stupid Roland just got me. We were watching uh, John Mellencamp. Yeah. yeah ugh. And, uh, is that John Mellencamp? No, yeah. no, that's Stevie Van Zandt. Oh, right. <laughs> See, John Mellencamp's let himself go. <laughs> no, no. That's Mellencamp over there. It looks like the Norman Rockwell painting. Yeah. And uh, I was like, ah, he's kind of a douche. And Roland's like, yeah, he was bad mouth on Ozzy saying he's overrated. I'm like, what? And he's like, I got you. Oh, wow. Do you, oh, do you, do you, just got do you really love Ozzy Osbourne? Love. Love him. Love. So are you offended by what I said no. about the No. You're a he, comic. He, I'll always start with a comic. He, he, was. he, was. he was offended. She's, no, uh, I'll tell <laughs> Sharon's the new host of um, Charm School on VH1. What's Charm School? It's, I can imagine what it might be. It's not worth describing, but she... Teaching people to be charming? She She's mm. she's this close to doing too much plastic surgery. She's got to stop right uh -oh. now. Oh, she's also the really? judge on uh, Dance with the Stars. Yeah. We had her in, what, about a year and a half ago? Maybe she's two nice, years yeah. at this point? She was awesome, and she looked beautiful. But since that point, she's gotten a lot of she, plastic she surgery. She's an advertisement for, for good plastic surgery, though. Good she, plastic yeah, surgery. She's had it if done stops, well, that woman. you got to stop right now, though, man. She has a sexy vibe to her. I met her a couple times. I don't know her well. I've met her a couple. And there's a weird, mm -hmm. just a sexual energy she wow. has. I, I'm telling you. Nothing like, I get from her when, like that. When you, when you take a photo with her and she just has this way of touching you. and I see her as well, you, you, you just like her because she knows she tastes like Aussie. I know oh, she that's does. That's where it comes yeah. from, isn't it? I know. She's very motherly it's america's got talent whatever yeah just to correct myself but I, I i i get no vibe from her as far as sexy oh. goes or anything like florentine that. got it too when he met i see a very business-like woman that that is uh uh not not sexy all right so all. what's your biggest guilty pleasure for sexiness what's the one that you would go <laughs> oh. with, with you? junior high <laughs> no 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 i'm talking about famous old sort of middle-aged bird that turns you on Who there ain't it? one yeah, middle-aged bird uh, would be middle ages. Uh, oh, I, I uh, Planetario, whatever that bitch's name is. I did this <laughs> show, Dakota Fanning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that, and I'm like too obvious. I said Hayden Planetary, but I said oh, Planetary. Like Hayden oh, Planetary, I suck. <laughs> I did a show called uh, I think it was Good Morning Cleveland or something with Robin Lovebreast or something. Her name was right. <laughs> and uh, she goes uh, she, now. Now my management, I'm managed by a company called Modus, and and the Wayne brothers own the company, right? I don't know. So I said, oh, she goes, who 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 are you? Managed by, I said, well, it's the Wayne Brothers Company, right? Yeah. And then just before we go on screen, she goes, I'd love a piece of that Damon Wayne. She was like a 50-year-old <laughs> white woman, right? In the middle of this thing with all of her middle-aged First thing she does, and I go, just just, 
the, just before the show starts, before she could say anything, she just said she wants a piece of Damon Wayans. What piece do you want, Robin? What piece do you want? They cut to a commercial straight away. Really? <laughs> Why? Hung her out to dry. Swear. That's nice. I Good move. Yeah, she thought she was, you know, doing something crazy and brave. And yeah. they called her out on it. Exactly. Hey, uh, as we wait for Seth Rogen, because I did not forget, we have the answer to the uh, John and Jeff. Oh, question. My God. No, I tell you what, just tell us in the studio and let the people at home suffer. <laughs> They've suffered Should. long enough. This was an hour and a half ago, something what, like that. Uh, what was the question? I don't remember. <laughs> it was uh, It was mattresses. What was the question, uh, Shaman? What do 50% of people? <laughs> it's 50% uh, of people return this. So when this is purchased, it's returned 50% of the time. Half the time it's returned. I'm, I'm going to say herpes. So, <laughs> <laughs> half the time. Half. I think it's probably more than that. Yeah, I've returned it to <laughs> a few people. Yes. <laughs> Who purposely keeps it? Like, no, this is just what I wanted. And once you pass it on, it's passed on, right? Yeah. Right. After receiving calls, guessing ties, sweaters, socks, mattresses, rings, and more, John and Jeff reveal the answer to their question. Yes. All right. The big reveal. Oh, yeah. It's worth it. To finish up uh, Jocktober that we started about an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. <laughs> All right, Jeff. What is the answer to this right. stupid useless trivia question? All right. 50% of these items purchased are returned for exchange or refund. What item am I talking about? Lingerie. Oh. oh. Because sometimes you buy the underwear too small for a fat girl and right. vice versa, and then you, your girlfriend doesn't like to look like a slut. Yeah. I get what's happening. She gets all mad because you got it uh, too big. Yeah, she, yeah. Then she goes, you think I'm fat. Yeah, yeah. And then you get it too small. Do you think I'm a child? Mad because she goes, look, oh, I'm too fat to fit in this. Yeah, yeah. So meanwhile, it's because she's fat. Yeah. It just shows you should never get anyone <laughs> yeah. a present. It just shows that women are ungrateful. Right. That's all that's that shows. It, it just shows they're ungrateful. 50%. You try to do something nice and they make you feel bad. I just fifty get... percent of women make me feel bad. I should it's get them higher. a robe like like Tarantino had on in uh what was the movie? Pulp fiction. Yeah. <laughs> that open your whore. Make some fresh coffee. <laughs> they, they don't say by women, so maybe fifty percent of the time it's returned because people are giving it to men. That is true. As fifty percent of happen. people, yeah. So that means all the women are returning it. Yeah, every woman is returning. <laughs> or maybe here's what it is: the wife buys it and yeah. she puts it on and she tries to get salty, and the oh. husband goes, "Oh God, what a slob!" Take that off and stop it. I'm and, not even attracted to you anymore. And then he grinds up poisoned Excedrin and feeds it to her and brings her lingerie back <laughs> and throws himself a party. That's just my guess. <laughs> here's the rest of the clip. Oh. And I guarantee, size large. Is given to a woman oh. and she is offended wow. and says, You take that back. That's I'm not I a said. size large. I'm a 14. So think about that. So I'm not a size large. I'm a 14. <laughs> right. Isn't 14 large? It is. Yeah. It's like my motto. How you're not fat a two, is you're... Jeff's girlfriend. Yeah, she's a pig. <laughs> What's your motto, Jim? I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry for cutting you off. No, no, that's okay. No, I love when that happens. <laughs> I was going to say that uh, big, it's. 14 is big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but not, not American, because I know this thing about America now. You've made your sizes smaller. So you made, you made your sizes bigger so that people don't feel fat because you're the fattest right. nation of people in the world. Yeah. Which you know Very that. you know, that. Yes. You're a bunch of you eating donuts for breakfast, you fat pricks. <laughs> <laughs> we also do have the best food, though. Be yeah, you know, you do. Yeah. You do. Right. And probably the most gyms. There's a lot of gymnasiums in... in uh... Oh, I was going to say a Jim Norton. No! <laughs> uh, Jim Jeffrey. Some of them Jim have you, have you, that's, oh, that's, Jim that's the worst joke I've ever done with a girl. Have, have you ever done it? Have you ever, I've did it once. In what was the After I had <laughs> sex with a girl, I went, uh, did you enjoy your gym workout? And I felt horrible as soon as it came out of my mouth. Like, I felt dirty, like I needed to wash. Like, I'm a professional comic. No, but on, uh, I did one time on stage. I, when I was new, I said something about Jim, and I forget, like, my last name is Nastix. Or it was some, no! It was something. You can't be on the show anymore. That, you know what? I, I almost would be completely, if you just said, get out of the studio and don't come back for a joke you did in 91. Nasium. Yes. Nastix. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Well, we're waiting Oof. for Seth Rogen. We we should start our our. You need when you eat obese primate. <laughs> 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 I, like, I like the way that Jim really got upset that I mentioned that you guys were fat. 
You, you, like, you know, I wasn't saying. Oh, I, 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 I thought don't you were care. saying, oh, they got a lot of gyms. No. And like, every oh. Uh, oh, geez, uh, every culture, good. every uh, different country has their own stereotype. Where We have the fat one. Uh, England has the, the bad choppers. And you the know? drunks. And drunks. drunks. Yeah, Ireland. Mm -hmm. so Australia, just, Australia had casual racism. That's how. Casual racism? It's casual. It's casual. It's it's casual. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. Yeah, When's the next Qantas flight out of here? <laughs> I might want to jump on that. <laughs> Give us an example of casual yeah, what's racism. What's casual uh, racism? last time when I said the, the, the nog word last time. Yeah. 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 That that yeah that went down badly, didn't it? They we, just we, kinda, had to, we had to be cut out for saying that. They just kind of throw that around? No, bit. no, no. Australia doesn't use that word. We, 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 the thing about Australia is that they're racist... And we just don't have any black people. We, we don't even, we're racist against people we can't even see. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I understand when you're racist when people are around you bothering you, right? But if you're just walking around going, I hate those people, where, where are they? Who are you looking at? <laughs> like, 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 the Aborigines are 1% of the population. Yeah. I, I didn't meet one until I was in my mid 20s. Really? Oh, not really. Not, not, Your yeah. country hates ghosts. Like we we, we we hate we hate we've got a lot of guilt. Yeah, we've got a lot of guilt going around with us, and yeah, uh, yeah no, we 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 hate uh, we hate refugees and anyone who comes in on a boat because right. we can't stop people coming in on boats because it's, uh, an, it's, island. it's an island. It's, a, it's <laughs> the biggest island in the world, so you can't you can't do the coast type of thing. Yeah, but they get they get really upset with things like that. My dad does. My dad, I, I, it's worse in England. Every time I'm in a cab in England, I get told off about the bloody immigrants coming here, <laughs> and people forget that I'm an immigrant. I just sit there, just with my immigrant face, going, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, the, I'm the good type of immigrant, aren't I? You can understand what I'm saying. Yeah, you're the one they like. Yeah, you, know, you, you speak the same language. Yeah, I look you have the that same. quirky little accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a bad immigrant. I'm a good immigrant. Over, over here, the same thing. I think we, I, 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 there's, there's people in this country who would prefer me being president than Obama. Right, like well, if you're gonna be honest, no. yeah. hey. really, you don't you don't like Obama? No, oh, I, oh, everyone, God, everyone I overseas, hate him. We're all pro Obama. I'm, oh, I'm of Obama. course, do everyone like, loves him. What like, a, he's a rock star. Are you a McCain guy? I don't like him either, but yeah. I don't like Obama more oh. because hey, I could keep more of my stuff. This is going to lead to an hour discussion. We got Seth Rogen on the phone. We can get back oh. to that. Yeah, you, we're going to get back to that. We have right. a couple more hours of radio to do today. Uh, Seth. Sorry. Let's just talk politics, guys. That's all I'm interested That's in. That's anyway. all. <laughs> Screw the movie, right? Exactly. Let's get to the nitty-gritty of life. <laughs> Zach and Miri make a porno. I, I got to tell you, we had Kevin Smith in. He's a good friend of the show. He did about three, three and a half hours with us uh, but last week, I guess. That's and, awesome. <laughs> and he told a story how you, my friend, turned him onto pot, and now he's addicted. I did. I, you know, I honestly, like, I didn't realize that it happened until I saw him recently, and I was just like, what What happened to you, dude? Like, it was really, like, it was actually, like, difficult to convince him to smoke weed a few, like, six months ago, and now he's bought his own. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, once you start buying your own, it's over. He was a goody yeah. two-shoes. After, like, one shoot with you, he's Gator from Jungle Fever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm contagious, guys. I'm contagious. <laughs> yeah, he gave him a hit in Pittsburgh, I guess, and it's led to, you know, weight gain. And him hanging out in his house, not leaving. You, 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 that's that will drive you to smoking weed all the time in yeah. Pittsburgh. I'll tell you that. Well, I think you're in his last movie because uh, he has no ambition to do anything but lay in bed and smoke pot now. He also owns a hundred and three inch television. Yeah, which does not go well with pot. No, hundred and three inch a joint and a hundred three inch television. That's the coolest thing. It would be to just smoke pot and sit in front of a TV that big. Yeah. No, it feels like you're in. The Dark Knight. It's the craziest thing ever. <laughs> you wait till he hocks it off to buy more pot. When he, when he gets to his bottom. He did say that he was watching uh, the last Die Hard movie, and he's in it. So yeah, he goes, exactly. He's watching himself in it, and he was actual size <laughs> on the TV. That's it was... how big his TV is. And yeah. He's a big guy, so you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> he said he actually stood up uh, and s stood right next to the TV. Stood next to himself. <laughs> next to himself during the... Uh... Uh, that'd be a good way to interact with the uh, characters on the screen. Or, yeah. yeah, you, you know. know. You know uh, I, did, I, I had a projector. That's all I'm saying. Straight well, to porno. I had, a, I had a projector in my house, and I projected it right onto the screen and got mashed up on pills and decided to have sex with the porno, but it was like a shadow coming in. All right, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> like, the shadow ruins everything. It was like a ninja that had come in out of nowhere as the third you gotta person. you got to just set up a set like Rupert Pumpkin in your basement. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, audience members. And yeah. Hey, so, I just want to ask uh, Seth one thing. I love Knocked Up, and I've been waiting to talk to you for a while to ask one dumb question. Why didn't uh, What's-Her-Name uh, take her, her bra off for the sex scenes? It drove me nuts. 
I don't know. She's got a good lawyer. I guess that's why. <laughs> 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 Better lawyer than I have. Uh, yeah, I don't know. She didn't want to show the puppies. It's, you know. She's got a... Her. If I had tits like that, I'd, I'd, I'd be showing them all over the <laughs> So they were nice. Yeah, you saw her. Yeah, they were real nice. And she uh, she decided that, to do all the sex scenes with a bra on, which was weird, because not many people have sex that way. Yeah. I think it's selfish is what it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on, share. Jesus. I think you should share them with the... I, I, share, I share everything with the world, and she won't share that. I think it's crazy. You ever done a fly's eyes? Huh? <laughs> you ever done a fly's eyes? Have I ever done a... What are you saying? Fly's eyes. Fly's eyes. What is that? Uh, apparently, it's the tuck, but with only the round things. Oh, yes. But I from behind. That, I call that the mosquito. I don't no, okay. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, you know. Oh, that's a different Flies dialect. Eyes. No. <laughs> no, I've never heard of that before, but I should. Now that I'm, gonna, I'm doing it right this second, and it feels good. <laughs> yeah, it hey, man, on your bio, it's weird. Like, you always, like, when you have a bio on somebody, you always weird, like, read something really weird. It said you wrote for uh, Dial G Show the second season. Yep. What this is a childlike question, but did anybody ever break character when when that was being shot? Like any of the cameramen? Because he, I mean, Sasha never broke character. Did anybody break character and laugh and wreck one of the uh, bits? No, you know, actually, the cameramen were were really good. They are they they generally did not themselves know exactly what was happening. They were usually just like freelance cameramen that we would hire, where you know, where wherever we were. So. Oh. They, they didn't even know it was a joke off in, in order to break character. So, uh, no, he, everyone was unbelievably, uh, was straight faced about it all. And, and I, I, there was one moment where he literally almost got the, sh the, you know, beat up by a bunch of guys and he still kept himself in character. Wait, so, so actually, is that how they, cause I always wondered, like, no matter how good you are at deadpanning, some of that stuff was so, Funny, how do you not laugh? And it, it was because they were using freelance guys who just didn't know. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thought of it all, those guys. And, uh, well, the movie, man, I mean, it's getting a lot of controversy around it. You got to be, a, it, it is kind of cool that it is because people are talking about it and they're talking about the ads being pulled and the movie yeah. title being changed. Yeah, people are getting it out there. I mean, I think it's all insane. It's crazy. It, 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 it infuriates me to no end that, yeah. you know, porno is such a big deal to people when, you know, horror movies are coming out all the time and doesn't bother anybody at all. But it's, you know, I guess, yeah, get the name of the movie out there. But if it was up to me, none of this, you know, none of the controversy would have happened. <laughs> yeah, Zach and Mary make a porno. I, I saw it, uh, Seth. Uh, great job, man. Um, unbelievable. Hey. Have you ever had a bomb? Um, not yet, thank God. Yeah, because... Not, wood. not really, no. Well, because you went from four-year-old virgin to knocked up to super bad, Pineapple Express. Now you got Zach and Mary make a porno. You're on a roll. I've had a good run. Good way to God. jinx the guy, oh. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't mean it like that, but, you know... Everything, no, everything. Soul Plane <laughs> 2 is next. Yeah, Soul, Soul Plane 2. <laughs> no, it's just amazing. I mean, you're unbelievable on, on, on the screen. It's just, uh, it's great. Thank you. Hey. I've, uh, I've had a good time. I'm just glad people don't hate me. Hey, are you doing the new Adam Sandler, uh, new Adam Sandler film? Yeah, right now I'm shooting with Adam. Could you get me an audition? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything worse than that? I was like, hey, how'd you get that? Do you want to hook me up? Yeah, yeah. Hey, can I, you got his number? Jimmy's uh, always trying to get in on the uh, next movie. Of course yeah. I am. I've, I've done so yeah. few. We, we, met, we, you, we met very briefly on the set. I was talking to Kevin in the trailer, and you came over and said hello. Jimmy's in the movie, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> let, let me translate. Yeah. I have no idea oh, who you are. Uh, yeah, it sounds like your career is going good, too. I bet you on the set. I mean, <laughs> really? Oh, you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Uh, Jimmy knows how the listeners feel sometimes when they come up and go, oh, yeah. remember when like we met at that gig that you did? And Jimmy goes, yeah, no. no. Yeah, no, I have no idea. People come up and I'll, I'll have met them and I don't remember. But no, I, I, I know he wouldn't remember because it was a very brief. No, no, let me. Uh, he's downplaying his role, oh. Seth. He was the star of the montage scene, my friend. The star. The star of the montage scene. Everyone's talking about it. I mean, yeah. I don't want to. People. Oh, I know exactly. No, of course I remember, Jim. I know exactly what you mean. He's, you're backtracking <laughs> so badly. He just did that. Oh, you're the. Oh, oh that yeah. Jim oh, Norton. Norton. I didn't know. I didn't know. I honestly didn't realize that was Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I, do that, I do that to people when they come up and they go, uh, do you remember the time uh, you know, I met? And for some reason, I don't know why I feel compelled to lie yes. every time. And I go, no, I remember, I remember. And then they go, okay, where? 
It's like, don't oh, then don't quiz me, ass, or I'm going to say, look, no one. I don't remember you, Mr. Nobody. Or, <laughs> or when you don't remember somebody, you, you try to get them to give you information. Like, you remember when we met? You're like, yeah, it was at that, um, yeah, the, the and hopefully thing. they'll fill in the blank. Remember we were breathing? I always just, I always just go, yeah, yeah, how you doing? Just always, how you doing? And yeah, just the, how you doing? But then when they start like going, oh, well, my sister's sick, and then you start going, maybe I know you really well. <laughs> yes. Oh no, that you might not. I might not even know you after a gig. You might be my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jim Norton are cousins. I yes, we are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We just chatted very briefly. We get how it is. A couple actors on the set. You know, everybody's yeah. got their parts to play. You don't want to get involved. That ain't working this time, John. No, not Why? This time. Look, you no, wound up I getting remember, Edward I Norton. Here. I, you know, I watched your stand-up special literally like a week and a half ago. Son of a. Oh, there thanks, man. Oh, you God don't know what you just did, it. Seth. I hate that. <laughs> Why? Now, we now officially hate Seth Rogen. Why? Because he played right into your game. A couple of guys that did that, that, a couple of uh, <laughs> birds with a feather. We both do hits. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... hey, hey, Seth, <laughs> how awful was Pittsburgh in the winter to f when you guys were filming that movie? It's you can just stop it. Uh, How awful is Pittsburgh? <laughs> well, not. Yeah. But Kevin, I've never been somewhere like I've never been somewhere with just like whole neighborhoods of abandoned buildings before. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just I, I literally just never seen that. I was like it was like I was like on an episode of The Wire all of a sudden. It was so strange. <laughs> it's funny when people in Pittsburgh want to get cheered up, they actually watch The Deer Hunter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you are you are you a big Wire fan? I'm a huge fan of it, but I haven't watched all of it, so don't ruin it. No, I won't. Thank you, because I haven't either, yeah. Anthony just got into it. Uh, me and Oprah yeah. are fanatics for it. But it, 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 it's an amazing culture, people who love this show. It, it's just you, you, you can't express enough how you love it. I know, and I, like, I, I get angry at people I know who haven't watched it just because I can't talk about it with them. And yeah. I, like, I, I, I only want to talk about that now. So I've just kind of stopped communicating with my friends who haven't seen it. Somebody's, somebody's talking to me yesterday about, like, Dexter. They're like, have you seen the new Dexter? And I'm like, nah, man, The Wire is what I, I've, I've, the only show I've been interested in in a long time. They're like, I haven't seen it. They went back to talk about Dexter. And I wanted to take the phone and crack their teeth. Exactly. <laughs> you shut up about that. <laughs> yes. Got no one cares about a phony serial killer. I want a gay gangster. <laughs> <laughs> what season are you on, man? What season are you watching? Fourth season I'm on. Oh, kid, that's oh, a great one, right? That's, that's, I'm a newbie. That's a really good season. I'm a rookie. So intense with the kids. Oh, it's heartbreaking. God, yeah. La, la, seconds. la. I am not listening. Anthony's, I am not listening. Anthony's still on season one. Mm. Yeah, I'm a newbie. So if you want to spoil season one or two. No, I just took my headphones off. I'm not listening. That's oh, it. Boy. I won't say anything. Tell me and I'll say it out loud because I haven't seen it. I don't care oh. if I don't see it. So oh, it's a great show. I like The Shield. The Shield? Yeah, is The Shield wrong with you? Guys, thank you for your time. We do have to wrap. Okay, oh. is Seth? Yes. Yeah, they're saying that you, they, I, I guess I you do go. a phone tour, yeah. But uh, let's, uh, Zach and Miriam make a porno. It comes out uh, tomorrow. And, uh, you know, good luck with it, man. It's great having you on the phone. Thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. Right right on. On. I'll see you down on. Okay, bye-bye. All right, Seth Rogen, everyone. Just when uh, we were having fun, thinking that maybe we had something. What well, happened? They got then the reality it's, hits it's, that it's, it's just a dumb five-minute phoner with a big I, star I from Hollywood. I can't be <laughs> friends with Seth Rogen because I don't watch The Wire. He said he won't be friends with me. Yeah. yeah. But I can be. Because I thought me and him were close then. Yeah. I thought Jimmy was going to get completely shut out on that one. I thought it was going to be, I don't know. And then he goes, no, I saw his special. And it's like, oh, uh, God. Oh, so disappointing. They all know Jimmy, don't they? Not really. A couple of guys. <laughs> I happen to meet Seth. He probably, here's what probably happened right literal jim i met <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's easy to say what happened after he left can i point out what a pompous ass i <laughs> no, am no it's not everybody i instead i wasn't even being sort of anthony said they all know jim and there was a part of me that thought he's got of course he's being serious what a boob i am that was a cramden move you did <laughs> you just did a cramden well you know when you're in the position i'm in <laughs> well not yes my foot crammed in my mouth <laughs> give me those ribs <laughs> 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 right, listen this is what we gotta do we got we gotta take a break <laughs> we we blew off this pole dancing contest. What? What? And now we got to do it. Yeah, bring so him we got to stay here because it's like a regular radio thing. Uh, we got a thousand dollars thanks to Zach and Miri make a porno. We got three girls. The movie's yeah. terrific. Hopefully, Beautiful girls Kit Kat Club. Yeah. Ho hopefully, the dancing will be at least mediocre. Um, so we'll don't do it. it. So we'll take a quick break and we'll do the dancing thing next. So to the affiliates, do what you got to do. Hey. 
Stick, stick around. around. You know what's good for you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have high expectations for the next uh, break. President? What, what, oh. we, we <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out next. But uh, right. We're Girls. nice to all the guys that call in. We're mean to the chicks. What's wrong with us? We're gay. We really are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, how good to have you on the phone, male. Hi, guy with <laughs> testicles. Hello, penis. Oh, yuck, breasts. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with us? <laughs> so you used to get your penis out on set a lot. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, but the girls, you'll see, Jimmy, they can't, they can't be naked, so why are we doing a strip pole dance? Why, they, why, can't, they, why can't yeah. they be naked? They because on a radio, that's bad. We don't know. We don't we know, have no Jimmy. idea. The they're, lawyers, they're really, really. lawyers, the lawyers are we're insane yes. in this country. They can't be naked. Yeah, we're out no. of... They're, that's, but it's on the radio. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> let's, just, let's just say they're, they're not naked. Why don't you but talk about they They'll be naked. But you, let's just say they're not. And that's... It's stupid. No, because now they have webcams and stuff, so they'll so know what, if you're lying. Well, can you go can, talk can I be naked? Those douchey lawyers. You know us. what? Yes, you probably could be. Yeah. Yes, because you're oh, a man. I could be naked. The they like that. The lawyers just love, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they love big, fat <laughs> They like they like junk in their trunks. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, a little junk. In the they love doing the mosquito for each other. <laughs> it's the flies eyes. He made up. Oh, I like the mosquito. Yeah. I do too. I'm sorry, because they sting each other's mouths. No, but it's better in Australia when, like, you know, when people moon or something, you'd hang you'd hang them out the car out the back as yeah. you drove past the wedding yeah. or something, and you'd yell, "Flies eyes!" Like that. Flies eyes. <laughs> Would people laugh? Ah. People, people would laugh, depending on the size of the eyes. It's all fun and games until a dingo ate me balls. <laughs> yeah. you got to get a Sharpie to the uh, area, though, to really make the eyes look Oh, nice. make it like compound eyes? <laughs> right. You really do the artwork up. <laughs> right. you, know, you know the guy with bad gen genetics because the fly only has one eye? <laughs> uh, uh, a saggy uh, lid. Make it, make it end up like the movie The Fly, where it pukes all over its food. <laughs> 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 with that, we're going to break and do something, but uh, we got... We we got the girls trying to impress us with their stripping after the break. Maybe the affiliates stay with us. Maybe they don't. We'll soon find out. O.P. and Anthony. <laughs> Hanging out with Jim Jeffries. Going to be at Caroline's here in New York City tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. Not Friday because it's Halloween. He's going to be at our uh, Halloween party, I'm maybe. Come to the party. So Hard Rock Cafe, we're doing a big I'll party. The, I'll be the guy without the costume. Right on. 7 to 10, I think. Right at I believe so, yes. And Seven we're looking to ten. Wow, what a long party. And we're looking for costumes that have something to do with the radio show. Yeah. Some like character, like may maybe Ted the whatever. Uh Sal. Maybe Sal. I want a, I want no, a girl no, that Sal's looks coming. like Norton. Oh, Sal's coming to the party. Sal's coming to the party in costume. What is he wearing? He's coming as uh, something show related. Oh, no. That's all I'll say. Do you know? Yeah, I know. It's, is it going to be good? Uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. I think you could pull it off. Very cool. All right, we'll see everyone tomorrow night. Hard Rock Cafe, 7 to 10. Okay, before I forget, I'm coming to the D.C. area in December 5th. Tickets on sale tomorrow morning. Right. Uh, a chase in, in Virginia, false trade. Very cool. All right, we got $1,000 to give away, courtesy of the new movie, Zack and Miri Make a Porno. And we got some uh, some lovely girls that are going to come in here and uh, do a little something-something on the stripper pole, right? Right. Who do we got? We got like three or four girls? Yeah, I three. Three, three girls? All right, how, how, do we, uh, how, do we, how do we how do we do this? Who's, who's first there, Steve? Just bring them in. Just bring all three in? What do you think? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just all on the pole at once like a kebab. <laughs> kebab. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that'd work. Hey, wow. Well, what have we got, got here? <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> Hi there. Do you take pounds? Why is the one girl in like a... Uh, Hi. Uh, that's probably part of the gimmick, Opie. Oh, okay. Don't ring I'm it. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Don't ring it. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, who are you? I'm Andy. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Andy. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Danielle. Well, hi, Danielle. Nice to meet you. Say hi to Jim Jeffries. Hello. How are Hello. you? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Jimmy's gonna get. Uh, Jim's gonna get naked with you, girls. Hi, I'm Melissa. Hi. 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 <laughs> wow. Are you, you nervous? Are, I'm giving you, you all a two for conversation. I was in the studio when Patty was on the pole. So my boyfriend was like, "Oh, you can do what Patty did." Oh, hi. really? Uh, boyfriend, you're pole, getting so. a three. Oh. oh no, no. You should have oh. slipped, slipped that in after I've scored. Oh, what? then you have a boyfriend. Because yeah. Jim's in New York. He doesn't come around here I'm a, often. I'm He's a traveling person. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He gets action wherever he goes. Not really. Action? No. no. <laughs> what grade are you in? <laughs> Get some action? Get some action last night. <laughs>
<laughs> so where were you uh, when you saw Patty dance on the pole and your boyfriend? The kind of... studio. We were both there. And inspired? No, and... it didn't inspire me. He was just like, hey, it's $1,000, and I just yeah. need six grand. So. so he pimped you out. What do you need six grand yeah. for? School. School? What are you going to school for? Biomedical engineering. What is it? Biomechanical engineering? No, biomedical. Biomedical. Oh, that's the, biomechanical. biomechanical. That's why she's wearing the I'm medical like, outfit. She's going uh, uh, to work for uh, Cyberdyne. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that, though. Uh, why? That's, that's all right. No. So, uh, any girls strip for a living or on the side? Right? It's become the wear. On the side? On the side, yeah. For uh, centerfold strips. Oh, yeah? Centerfoldstrips.com and uh, dance for stilettos. I also teach now. So, but... What do you teach, pole dancing? I teach pole dancing. I also teach mm. professional um, dancing and fitness classes for Club H Fitness. Um, all over the city and New Jersey. So and trigonometry. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't think it, would you? Nice. And Andy, do you uh, do a little stripping on the side, or? No, that's Danielle. That's Danielle. Oh, Danielle. I'm sorry. Oh, you're Andy. I'm sorry. I got you. Uh, I just won a contest actually for pole dancing a couple weeks ago in New Jersey, but right now I'm focusing on boxing. Boxing. Oh no. <laughs> what are you? You're boxing. So that's what we're gonna do after the contest. <laughs> no. Who's your favorite boxer? Um, Buddy Hinton, <laughs> Lay Lolly, no. huh? Uh, Lucia Riker and Mike Tyson, definitely. Wow, really? Uh, a little Mike controversial. That sounds, that sounds like the defendant and the accused. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> would love to rape you. <laughs> <laughs> well, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. You can say anything as long as you say allegedly. <laughs> so what do we do now? So do you only date boxers? Um. No, no, I, I date everyone. Aren't no, you I don't date really? anyone. Right now. Uh, are you afraid of getting your face punched in? Like you know. That is a concern. Yeah, I would yeah. gather as a boxer, you wouldn't want to get your face uh, punched uh, in. I train with a uh, Jersey Elite conditioning or strength and conditioning. Oh, really? And we wear headgear. Um, my trainer has socked me in the face a couple times, and I still feel it. It was a couple weeks ago. Really? What? In, in your nose? Have yeah. you ever bro broken your nose? No, or it hasn't like bled that? yet either. It's yeah. like. Awesome. The cauliflower has... boobs? Cauliflower boobs. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. I don't, know. I don't know what kind of medical problems female boxers have had. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah. biomedical engineering, boxing, and then and stripping, and you said you've done stand-up. It's quite a variety of people. Well, I'm not just a stripper. That's a part-time stripper. No, but I'm saying transitioning things... out of. You guys are helping me with my retirement today. Oh, really? Actually. Really? thousand yes. bucks for time? Yeah, so I'm a full-time fitness instructor. Okay. When I did teach you get like into over it? 10 classes a week. When did you get into stripping, though? Over 16 years ago. Wow. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, I was a dance and theater and she's major only 18, college. ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> a dance and theater major in college, and then you went for the pole. Yep. Wow. Why? Like, exactly. what, ha what happened? I'm sure in college you thought, like, fame, I'm going to live exactly. for it. And then you're Coco you on know? the couch. And so the music director said, you know, Andy, you make a great stripper. And so yeah. I yeah. said, well, I'll, you know, try it. And then now I'm here <laughs> in the mm. studio dancing for you. Uh, it's nice. Dreams can come true. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, this boxing thing is fascinating me. Um, do you have a guy trainer? Mm-hmm. And he punched you in the face. He has punched me in the face. Yeah. Not during a boxing match, just political yeah. arguments. No. <laughs> Are you training? Have you had fights? Because you look pretty muscular up top there. Oh, she's I great. haven't had any fights, but I've done a lot of sparring. Which, yeah? Yeah. Any street fights? You kick any ass? No. Uh, where we train, we train in what? a... In what? a little place in Metuchen in a driveway. Like, and what just got neighbors. you into doing that? Like, why would you want to do that? I had a conversation with him. He's, he's my best friend, too. We had a conversation about and Mike said, Tyson. People should and I hit go, you? <laughs> something about Mike Tyson and me and boxing. Uh -oh. No, not like that. No? But, Ever been with a black guy? Uh, no. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. That means yes. That's a yes, oh, but yeah. the more important thing is, would you slowly tell me the details on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy wants to prep. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't. I don't need you to tell it slowly to me. Do it as quick as have. possible. I as much information as you can. In I kind of picked up on that beforehand. A really? Bit. Yeah, when she said, I date anybody or everybody, oh, no. things like that. I was kind of like, all right, so there's probably a few you know, different ethnic backgrounds. That's nice. It's nice to have a, a diverse uh, vagina. That's, uh, you know. 
<laughs> I'm just a, saying, it's a diverse like vagina. Why not? Many of them are different colors all over. Yes. So that, a lot of them look like a Benetton it's commercial. A, yes, of course. <laughs> it's wonderful. Now, do you only, you, so you said you date everybody. Because I don't box, so I'm not in boxer shape. So I'd be like a little uncomfortable, like if you and I were nude together, I'd be like a little self conscious that you were judging me. She would be. I probably would be. Okay, then I should keep my shirt on. Some of the guys she's been with is probably looks like uh, Rocky's eye before Mickey cut it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, a little, just a little swollen, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> there's little, three of them. Little... Shag the one in the middle. <laughs> I, I get better as I pick, as the, the more I go on. Oh, really? The more you're learning as you go along, as we all are, sure. I think. You know, it's, it's very going. hard to be uh, uh, single and kind of working your way through it because there are some real douches out there, yes. as well, I like to say. Yeah. I heard that's your favorite word yeah. this morning. I was listening to you guys this morning, and you just were douching Was I saying all douche a lot today? I don't yeah, know there's you guys a lot of... want to be a douche or something. I want to listen to the replay because I don't well, recall saying douche a lot. Because of oh, John yeah. and Jeff, it just comes out naturally. It was like around 5 o'clock this morning. Oh, five. That's, oh, that's uh, just... The, oh, that's the replay. The douching hour. Oh, okay. Now yeah. I understand. The little Jewish guy David was in here. Uh, I was yesterday. That was, show. That was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They played like some stuff from the day before. Oh, yeah. We should get into this because we uh, we're douche? running really late. Well, you like to douche? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I only found out what that was. I don't even. Heard so uh, how's this going to work, there, Stunt Brain? Uh, That's great. We start with Andy. <laughs> Pretty skills and, don't do uh, it. Each, Danny's going to play some Figures. music, and we judge him. You <laughs> All right. Do it in their whatever. mouths. I just walk over a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get into this because we uh, we really should get out of here. But uh, Andy's going to start us off. The uh, the quote professional. Well, you know, you're transitioning right. out, but... Uh, did they get to pick their music? Yeah, they did. Yeah, Andy picked her song. Yeah? How long are we playing the song for? Very tiny stage. Until we get bored. Yeah, it is very tiny stage. Yeah. Don't fall off. or uh, my body. That would be hysterical YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, the thought you fall off and make a YouTube video that gets 10 million hits. I love the cleaning of the pole. Yeah. yeah. I love doesn't? the cleaning got, of the pole. I like it just great. as much. It's got good technique. Oh. The cleaning of the pole means, yeah, I'm dirty, but I'm still clean. <laughs> yeah, I like going to a strip club and you see a girl like Windex it down or something. Yeah, I, um, move that back, yeah, yes. yeah, get that uh, mic. Oh. Yeah, there, there. she's sizing up the room. The you rock. All right. She's what gonna... what song are you dancing to? Dream on. Dream on. Oh, okay. Right on. Fantastic. Bravo. That's Andy. Very nice. Very Andy was job. very good. I, I'm I'm marking high. I got to tell you. I'm, huh? very, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with that. I was I was dubious before this all started whether it'd be any good. <laughs> dubious. It was a bit dubious. Uh, uh, and and she's turned. She's relinquished her rag. Uh, no, the, no, to uh, wipe the pole down. I'm talking about. I wasn't uh, yes. yeah. making any accusations. Jim Jeffries, any comments about uh, what you just saw there from Andy? I just you don't get this type of radio. Oh wow! The world. Yeah, boy, you look used to doing that. British radio, they have like On something that size. Too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got we got the boxer. Uh, yeah. Oscar is now cleaning the stripper pole off. She's going to be dancing to the theme from Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> she has very short hair uh -huh. and a very muscular upper body. and uh, Very tall. Very pretty. How, How tall, tall are you? I'm going to guess 5'8". Five, 5'6". Five, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, but well, she's, she's, she's wearing very high heels. And yeah. she's standing on the stage. You look yeah. like you're about 6'5". Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't take anything into account except for where your head winds up. <laughs> so we, could, we know you're standing on something and we're all like, wow, she's a 7 foot tall girl. <laughs> We really are dopes. <laughs> I just want to ask, how many wheelchair-related accidents are there been on a pole? Because people, when they, they yeah, slide yeah. back from their legs, it's a big drop onto your neck. And if you could, like, paralyze yourself. Ribs. You broke your ribs. Ah, oh, all for art. <laughs> when you, you well, broke, get on mic. You on broke mic. your ribs? Don't do that here. No, don't break your ribs. See, apparently, uh, what happened? Why is the other stripper handing the... It's a, um, yeah, she wants <laughs> to have a job here. So how did you break your ribs? Uh, I worked on a spinning pole in Florida, and I hit my. It's it, if you turn this thing and it were to spin on its axis, uh -huh. it would spin. Spinning pole, America, the home, the land of dreams. Spinning pole, <laughs> the you, land of dreams. We know a spinning pole. That's something I hadn't even thought about. I would take that. that on Dragon's Den. <laughs> you have that over here. Dragon's Den. All right. Yeah. Uh, what song have you chosen today? Cochise by Audio Slave. Oh, nice. Okay. Good choice. Okay. All right. From, uh, no, this is a uh, true lies. I mean, true lies. Yes, true dancing lies. with Schwarzenegger was yeah. disguising his voice yeah. from the worst the scene ever. Sure. Very take, sexy. Take uh, it off. Take it off slow. Thank you. Very good. Holy uh, mackerel. Hey! Oh, there's hey! Oh, wow. And now 
more she's, spank she's revealing her hiney to be spanked. A little spank. Wow, that's uh, wow, wow. very good. Do you want Jimmy to spank you, or do you want Jimmy to spank you? I, 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 I don't have to. Unless she, I, don't, I don't want her to be uncomfortable. You didn't say which, Jimmy. Uh, well, <laughs> that's a good point. I think I'm in here. No, no, I'm not going to spike you. If I win, you. if I win. Uh -oh. Let's just oh. go to the other one. Did you have problems with, uh, with the pasties? What was the problem? Yeah, this one is not staying on. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. Well, remove it so we can get some more glue on that for you. <laughs> All right, who's the last uh, young lady? It's Alicia. Right, here we go. Good evening. Alicia. The Alicia. one in the lab coat. Yes, the blonde. Hot. Hot. Yeah. Huh? Please get on. What song uh, have you oh chosen? Boy, she's nervous. This is what, what song did you choose? She's got glasses on and the lab Wait, coach. Wait, you never is... touched a pole in your life? Really? So this, you're just doing this on a whim. Yeah. Yeah, but look okay, at she's her. She's a sexy girl. She's glasses and blonde hair and a lab coat. Okay. Look at her. She's and you can a... see her bra is showing. What song? I just picked it a minute ago. Oh, my God. Oh, you picked me in <laughs> All right, E-Rock took something out of his, uh, wait, out of his wait, iPod. Wait, wait, wait. There's, collection. And there's an argument going on. What's happening? Yeah, what's the matter? Wait, get, give her the mic. Give her the mic. She's yelling and screaming. What's the problem? You can't hear it anyway. It doesn't matter. Can't hear it anyway? No. doesn't matter? Sorry. Wait, what song did you want? I didn't care. I just picked it a minute. Well, give us a song. We got, like, care. the world's you largest know, computer What, what are we, thing. Annie W? I know. <laughs> Mustang Sally? Oh, she's... Yeah. All right. Just the, dance to the whatever. The theme from Cheese? <laughs> How about river dance? <laughs> Wait, you're kind of bummed out. You didn't think the competition would be so good? What? Oh, I don't care. I'll I'm throw, I I'm say happy. you throw on a little song from Foundry called Pendulum. Ah, very that's good. right. Because uh, that's one of my favorite songs. And this one rocks. The updated so version or the to, uh, original? I think the original. All right, the original. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Little okay. song. Okay. Yeah. Right, here we go. She looks very sexy in her little lab coat. I think. I think. I, I'm, I'm picturing a goody two, goody two, goody goody two shoes. I'm in love. Thing, I love it. She takes the glasses off, it. the lab coat, and uh, all of a sudden you're like, wow. No, huh? All right, here we go. All right, it's all right. Alisa, our last contestant. Oh, this, 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 this is this is glasses off. Glasses are off. Courtesy of Zach and Mary make a porno. Glasses it's like, great uh, body. It's like the girl that played uh, Howard's wife in Private Parts <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, she has a fantastic body. She probably has a... Uh, oh, my God. Wow. Like, oh, oh, my God. Who saw God. that under the lab coat? All right. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> she's just kind of walking around the pole. She and doesn't even kind of have lowering to dance. Herself. No. She's very hot. She's one of those dancers that could just kneel in front of you and babble about school, right. and you still just give her <laughs> <Yes>. money. <laughs> she's, ho she's holding on All to the pole. All of a sudden, you're down 400. Like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, what happened? I didn't see know what I love about her? She's trying to reenact the moves she just saw she two no minutes idea. ago. She's going to yeah. end up breaking her neck. She actually is, uh, she looks like she's playing tag, and she's staying on home base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, her oh, ass All right, she's her trying ass something with her ass. Pole. Oh, oh nice. Right. I she love her. I love her. Good move. Wow. Yeah. I'm pinching my helmet. <laughs> I, I'll i pinch your helmet. I love it. And great music. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This this music is working like like saltpeter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's just making it up as she goes there's along. Something she's going hot, all right. There's something hot about a chick who doesn't know how to do it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There's, something, there's something hot about that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's almost like she's been abducted and you're making her do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Which is sort of what's happening. Exactly what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's uh, wow, you uh, look confused a little bit. Okay, so all of a sudden become a torture device. <laughs> it's like John McCain was beaten on. <laughs> uh -oh, oh, she's, she's doing the hang. Oh, oh, she she lost it. Keep your hands on it. Keep your hands on it. Yeah. As attractive as you would be in a wheelchair, I'd feel bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine if she was a quad, how much fun that would be. She couldn't say no. Oh, she's trying to swing. <laughs> Very pretty girl. I think uh, she's having, is she getting winded? <laughs> You getting tired? She's oh, just kind okay. of spinning in a circle. Yeah. Ow, that had to hurt. Yeah, she's oh. banging into everything. <laughs> she's going to be bruised tomorrow. Yeah, it's great. It's she crazy. is a very attractive, but one of the worst pole dancers <laughs> I, I've ever seen in my ever. life. It's her first time. It's her first time. Yeah, she's a true yeah. rookie. And Look she's trying that. her best. She's doing a good job. She's Look broken, at her hiney. Uh, she's broken half the equipment in this pole. Yeah, she uh, really uh, is. Uh, she, uh, she doesn't uh, want to commit. Right, uh, I don't want to commit to the... Broken no, neck no, 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 no. Your, your thighs right. haven't you, got calluses you, ready for that. You should probably just. <laughs> she should probably just take the skirt off and touch her toes. Do an exercise. Yeah. She, all right, choreographer. <laughs> yes. All right, the big finish. We need a finishing move. Yes, which should be without the skirt. I'm just trying to tell you. Oh wait, yeah. Is there going to be a? Uh, 
Yeah. And yeah, of a course. Top removal. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. Yes. Now put your ass out and slap your butt. Uh, like you've been bad. Has she, she not got the little stickers no, on? Pasty. Oh, the girls oh, are slapping her butt. And the other two girls slapping. are slapping her ass. Uh, any pasties under there or uh, what? You do have pasties, right? You can yeah, show. Yeah. Them. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Wait, wait. It's okay. Oh! oh! Holy Jesus. It's an illegal activity. Jeez. I didn't hey. say. I didn't say. I didn't say. All right. What, Lisa. What, miss, what did you do wow. at the end? What, what did you do at the end? I didn't see. She, she just... She oh, just <laughs> yeah. E-Rock, get out of my way! <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> did you show? Uh, what? I, uh, did you show? No, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> oh, I love her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. We don't have a girl like Those that. Those pasties England. are great. Oh, my God. We do have one girl in England. Screw it. like you, but she doesn't have teeth. Screw it. She wins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really good shape, and these girls are insane. Yeah, you're gonna oh, have God, some. Like you're your Where's your lucky off? boyfriend who pushed you into this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why isn't he hanging off one of those he's things? He's never even seen me anything like this. Wow, wow. hasn't he? You're gonna have uh, some but, hole burns. Yeah. All right, well, fantastic. Well, Jeez. I got a problem because they all have the same score right now. Yeah, I know. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I gotta it's hard to tabulate. Um, uh, oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> wow. What do we do? Where's your boyfriend, Harvey Keitel, and taxi driver? <laughs> I'm cheat? giving mine to him. I'm going to cheat. Yeah? It's really? Close. Oh, yeah. Mm. I wasn't given right, a paper right. or pen. Well, what are we... But I, I do I remember think, the performance. this is important. Stump brain, what are we judging on? Um, this is important. Hotness and sluttiness talent, or just... Talent, dance, overall. Oh, really? Uh, all right, right. I'll have oh, to, that oh, I'm going to have to amend. All I'm right, so amend. do I. Hold on a minute. I, I didn't know ability was involved. Oh, man, that stinks. All right, I'm going to... That's, oh, that's not Christ. mine. Oh. And then uh, you should have worn name tags. Like this is like every girl right. I meet. I don't remember their name. That's mine. All um, right. No, I, st I stand by. I stand by. Right. I stand nice. by. Oh man. Um, I, I don't know which one's which. That's um. Who's, who's da this one? Danielle was the second one, and he was the first one. Okay. 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 Second. First. Yeah, hey, I know, I know who you are. Okay, here we go. Because I'm interested more than dancing. These boys are just bloody animals. Elise oh, is the one you want to have. <laughs> yeah, but Elise has got a boyfriend. Let yeah. me. Uh, I'm judging here. But she's not wearing pasties. I think the other ones have wear them yeah. all the time. Give her an extra half point for not wearing pasties. Would you? Here's here's my tabulation that I really took a lot of time with. Would you? <laughs> what yeah. Um Wow. Pretty, no, I've, I've tried to be fair. I've tried to, I've tried I, to take everything into consideration. I'm a yes, yes, no. There's, there's money involved. What you? So I've tried what? To... With the what? Game. what? With the what you game. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim, you got you got your uh That's the maximum and then minimum. Right. I've already I've already had money in. Okay, are we ready to tabulate? You did the crime and not the time. What do the girls get that lose the contest? Um, get, dishonor. Win. <laughs> yes. Thrown out. <laughs> In uh, Japan, they'd be made to kill themselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that can't be. Hint's uh, score broke the... Uh, what did he do? Did he give down. someone a hundred? Let me see. Yeah. Well, You're breaking the rules? No. I didn't break the rules. What happened? What, One was out of ten? Problem? One out of ten? Well, okay. it, what happened? He said it was minimum to maximum, right? Yeah. Okay, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't There's matter. No as, long, second place. as long as he's put them in an order, it doesn't matter. There's no second place. I A-bombed it. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Why wouldn't I? Um, wait, so did she win or did she win? Uh, well, who came in third? Um, these two tied. Those two tied? Oh, it was very close. Two of them tied. I, uh... I disagree with the results. Why? You told me. Uh, to. I, that, <laughs> that's that's not the result that I chose either. No, uh, I went. I want all the girls to feel good about themselves. Yeah, I, know. I I did score it differently, but the winner of the uh, pole dancing competition, and they win a thousand dollars, courtesy of Zach and Mary make a porno, is Elisa. How how crazy is that? You couldn't even dance. <laughs> what, what, and it's a pole dancing contest. You sucked on the pole and you won. Yeah, it's like getting a Down syndrome boy or a medal for running. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I had it scored. I didn't have it scored like that, even though you were very sexy. I had it scored very close. Wait a minute. Who 
did vote for her to win that. I had it. I, I didn't. I, Jimmy didn't. My scores were as follows. Yeah. I gave uh, Alyssa or Alisa? Alyssa. 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 I gave you an eight. I gave uh, Danielle an eight and a half, and I gave uh, uh, Andy, Andy a nine. See, uh, I, I, I gave, you were a little more experienced. I gave. I think I gave. I gave Danny a nine, and the other two girls an eight. Would you give a? Uh, I gave Iraq an eight. <laughs> Would you give Alyssa? Getting in the way of everything. Thirty-five points. Um, uh, well, uh, I gave, <laughs> I I gave her cards. a few points. I see his score. I think, I think Danny said, was the best dancer by maximum well. Maximum to minimum. Yeah. That's what I said. I go, give her the max, give the other two min. So it's, that's how uh, I score. That, because there's that, no second place. That's how you roll. Okay. Because if there's no second place, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, crazy. Oh. Crazy. All right, well, she's not agreeing with that. How about we take the money and pay you to dance for an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, congratulations, and, and thank you to the other ladies for doing this today. we got to get out of here. Quick yeah, i got to do a quick phone. Um, i got book, my book signing start Monday at Borders oh. here in New York at Penn Station. And oh. Uh, oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Huh? Yes. Yeah, promote ah. your business. You should get something I, out of there. <laughs> and anybody out there would love to learn how to pole dance or or empowering movement from for the feminine spirit and learn how to give your man a lap dance for Christmas oh. this year. A nice that little Santa baby dance. Um, power strip. Maybe the winner should by go. Me, Andy. <laughs> All you got to do is call 551-580-8036. Thank you so much, Opie and Anthony. I really appreciate right. it. Very good. Club Andy. H Fitness rocks. And Jim go. Jeffries is at Carolina. I'm, I'm at Caroline and all across the country this month. So check yeah. out my MySpace for, for. When are you fighting next? When's your uh, you fighting? You got a um, plug? No, nope, just training. And if anyone wants to train MMA, anything at all that involves um, athleticism, Jersey Elite Strength and Conditioning. There's YouTube videos, all kinds of stuff. Very cool. Thank all you right. so much, guys. Thank you. Right. Jim Jeffries on MySpace for the tour yeah, dates. It's MySpace for the tour dates, yeah. Ah, all right, we're going to continue in just a bit. Thanks for listening. Bad or see you later. Opie and Anthony. It's like on these fucking islands out in the Pacific. Oh, no good. They still test yeah, them in, yeah. in these strange <laughs> fucking <laughs> islands. <laughs> yeah. Opie and Anthony, we can continue. Island. Are we on? Let me set the yeah, uh, stage we here. We got show in mid-conversation is what happens. <laughs> That's how yeah. we do our shows. <laughs> we got Jim Jeffries, Caroline's this weekend. Hello. And for the first time, I believe, Joe DeRosa. Yes, yeah, first time. We've been time. trying to make this happen for years. And every I would see Joe in clubs like, no, we're going to get Johnson. And then another year would go by. Just I'm just an awful person. No, I'm happy to finally be here. Thanks for having <laughs> me. I appreciate it. It's, uh, so it's a little more tame in here than I expected. I thought there was going to be like hookers blowing people and interns taking ah, shits on each other. And that's only on the Saturday night shows. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it though. I We're feel. in the uh, calling it in stage of our career. So, <laughs> <laughs> calling it in. Well, last time I see someone ate shit, didn't I? Wow. wow, that was Eastside Dave. Yeah. Eastside Dave. Dave, yeah, he defended yes. himself by putting his hand up his ass. And he uh, got in trouble for that. Did no, he? no. See, that's the problem. That wasn't the time. Dave did that, and there was no trouble. problems whatsoever. He does it again about uh, six months later, and then gets and then in trouble. trouble. Yeah. What did you get, Jimmy? Mm. What is it? Is that the chocolates finally? Cumsies? <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> now we'd be all gone already. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, she sent me this. I think her name is Rosalie. Sent me chocolates. You guys are welcome. I'm only going to eat like one. Mm. Who's Rosalie and why she's one box? <laughs> one box. <laughs> what are you she's eating? A listener and I, I, she, she's a I don't eat listeners' stuff. Why not? Except they're pussies. They're <laughs> 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 good chocolates. I'll say they are. Mm -hmm. Fucking brilliant. None of them. These are very good. Before it passes, these guys were arguing Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, big uh, Joe Indiana Rosa Jones loved fans. It. Got the DVD. Right? I saw it six times. I think it theater. right in my childhood. Wow, the last one you saw, I saw six, it times? six times in the theater. Why? I mean, it just That's made a mental me problem. <laughs> feel like a kid again, and people. Why was someone touching you in the theater? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, reach for the popcorn. I cut a hole in the yeah. bottom. <laughs> people shit on the movie. I was talking to Roland about it. Roland hated it. Jim Jeffries hated, hated it. Him. You didn't like it, Ant. I just I Roland thought it was played good. The, the, a big Rolling Stone in the first one. <laughs> 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 I thought it was good. It just made me feel like a kid again. I, you know, I felt like yeah. I was eight years old. And then I, people... I will admit, yeah, when you hear that music and shit, I love you know, the music. Something new, and you're like, wow, I haven't seen this. You know, when you hear this, yeah. it's like I've been watching these movies for years over and over again, and it's like, okay, it's new. So and right. you really expect oh. a lot of these fucking movies. Well, that should have been good. It's
it should have been fucking good. They had all the time in the world to make the thing. Yeah, well, they certainly right, did. You know, yeah. Steven Spielberg, Harrison Ford, 20 fucking years. I want something good. It yeah. was good, though. It was, it was rubbish. He swung around on his fucking whip. No way. People he shot machine guns at him. There was, there was animals and shit that he was fighting in the fucking jungle. What else do you want, And the man? Russians, they weren't that bad. They're not as bad as Nazis. They're not Nazis. Yeah, they're you not can't Nazis. beat the Nazis when it comes to the bad guys, <laughs> guys in movies. What are you going to do? Jones and Nazi. Do another Nazi one. Yeah, you get it. He's 80. Give him a time machine. They work in body. <laughs> <laughs> they work in aliens. The least they can do is get him a time machine. He goes into that fucking warehouse with all those boxes, starts prying shit until he finds a DeLorean. He gets in, 88 miles an hour, the motherfuckers backfight Nazi. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Better than that fucking piece of shit they put out. Uh, and you you said you didn't like the CGI, right? <laughs> there's, there's, too much, there's too much CGI in it. This is what I was saying before. Is is when, when, when he used to be chased by the boulder or when he was jumping off something or swinging for something before, there was actual fear that Harrison Ford could get injured. Like, these were proper stunts. And now it's like he's running upstairs and there's two big massive CGI cogs crushing the stairs. This that, is stu that stupid Marion woman who hasn't had a job in 20 years just grinning through the whole <laughs> film. Just like, I'm working! I'm working! <laughs> the doctor said I never would, but look at me now! This is my point. <laughs> <laughs> this is my point that I was trying to make earlier, Jim. You have a different suspension of disbelief now that you're 33. Versus 31. when you were eight, 31, <laughs> versus when you were eight years old. And, you know, when I was eight, a lot of things entertained me more easily. I used to turn my fucking penis inside out in a bathtub for 20 or 30 minutes straight what, now when you, I was eight years old. And now do you use CGI Paul. for that, or what happens there? <laughs> <laughs> it's still the same trick as an adult. It, uh, I'm just saying, it's, you know, you drift away a little easier when you're a kid. You know, you, know? you, you got a point that uh, I, I remember watching the uh, extras on the DVD of the old ones. And not even extras. I think like like a, a TV show would be a special on on oh, yeah. the ba behind the scenes before the. And they show the guy in the little extras. trench under the truck pulling himself with the whip. Right. And it's supposed to be indie, you know, but it's a stunt man and shit. But they really did the stunt. And then Harrison Ford is there with the glass in front of him and the Cobra. And the real cobra, cobra. And he spat the yeah, poison yeah. under the glass. They had to start again because they yeah, were like, yeah. shit. You were going, how awesome were the ants? They weren't ants. <laughs> and, and, then, and then you were using the argument. You're going, but how can you control ants? How can you control fucking cobras? <laughs> but because the cobras were in a room, the ants were in a jungle. How do you control ants in a goddamn jungle scene? You're going to direct no, you, ants? You collect ants. You collect ants up. Like in, in boxes and whatnot. They got all the I want to hear how you they do this. They got all the bugs from this. You've never been to Australia. There's fucking bo there's ant farms where you can just you sure, can go sure. get ants. You can buy sure. them. People have that. People have them in that little glass like, thing where they're all walking along. And all I that. will say this in defense of your guys' argument against me. I liked the Star Wars prequels, I, so I, that I, might diffuse yeah. everything we're arguing oh, about yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, all right. God. Well, yeah. might as well. wow, they're telling us, uh, they're telling no, us yeah, you really. gotta go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your wow, first appearance on the show and that's you've a, come on to tell us about the great, Phantom Menace. That was a great five minutes. <laughs> wow. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, I liked like, it. I thought you Indiana like Jones was worse than the new Star Wars. I thought new Star Wars oh, was better than new Indiana Jones. You just said you liked them. I'm just sticking up for you. You thought that it was worse than the Star Wars prequels? I thought the prequels? Indiana Jones was worse than the Star Wars prequels. I thought it was that bad. Hated first Star Wars prequel. Right. Didn't mind the other ones. Didn't fucking, like, completely want to just rip Lucas's head off. Yeah, after Revenge the of the two. Sith was all right. Like, yeah, yeah, that was all right. The first one was a kid's fucking show. It was a right. fucking kid's movie. Right. Oh, look, I'm flying a fucking... Uh, George children. Lucas stinks. Yeah, George Lucas. Children. George Lucas. Terrible. The I, fucking little Ewoks and... Blah, 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 blah. And I'll tell you one thing. How many dwarfs do you reckon oh, George Lucas does? Oh, my God, he's blah, 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 blah. the biggest he's dwarf know, employer ever. He's got to know up. hundreds, do not he? He's got to know hundreds <laughs> As long dwarfs. as George Lucas is on this planet, dwarves will never go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll CGI the shit out of him now, though. Yeah. <laughs> R2-D2 was a fucking CGI yeah, yeah, R2-D2. Yeah. for. And how the fuck did R2-D2 go from... Because all the prequels were pre... He went from fucking this cool ass flying motherfucking thing uh, with all kinds of gadgetry to this piece of shit roly poly falls over. He I, can't I, even I've go got, over. I got an answer for that. I got an answer for that. Right. Have you ever had a really nice car you kept for twenty years? Oh, it's a piece of shit. And then by the end, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, the heater yeah. doesn't work anymore. <laughs> like they didn't keep up on, on his <laughs> flying. His, ma his maintenance was rubbish. <laughs> okay. All right, that I can accept. That kind of makes sense. Eh? I, and I got to say that <laughs> that the ships, the ships that they use. 
fucking models in most cases right. look better than CGI these days. Uh, well, yeah, it, models it, are always better because you can touch a model, you can see a model. Yoda was better as a puppet. Great. The model I didn't think looked good was the fucking, like, the Death Star model at the end of the first Star Wars with the fucking, where they're just throwing M80s mm -hmm. onto the surface yeah. or some shitty thing with the camera. That that didn't look that good. But uh, <laughs> other shit looked really good. And Al Alien, the, the, the ship in Alien looked good because it was all dark and everything when they showed that. But that was all models. CGI ships are kind of, eh. I don't know, but it's into it. I'm I'm a little more forgiving with CGI because if you look at model, you know, what they with the, the way model effects worked in the 50s and the 60s, it yeah. looked tremendously more shitty oh, than it did yeah. in the 80s. Hell so yeah. CGI now looks pretty good compared to what yeah, it yeah. did now, in now 95 it, or whatever. Yeah, so no, it's no, like, no, no, it, it will get to Jurassic Park. That was the best CGI ever. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park was really that fucking That was the good best CGI. CGI and everything since then. So, and Gollum and everything else is fucked. Yeah, what the fuck happened? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Jurassic Park was like 20 years ago. Maybe it doesn't look as good if we <laughs> saw <laughs> Jurassic Park today, though. No, no, I've watched it no, recently. Those Velociraptors oh, no. look fucking really cool. Hey, Chris cool. Go from Whackbag writes, I bet, and shit. I bet DeRosa's uh, favorite Back to the Future movie is the third one. Is that true? I hate the third one. All right. So much. Third so one. much. Third, so much. Right. third nice. one's just... Uh, and I do agree that Phantom Menace is the worst Star Wars film. Yeah. But it is... You know what made me kind of be forgiving with that? It, My eight-year-old nephew was like, I love Phantom Menace. I love it. And I was like, all right, it's a kid's movie. It's There's got, kid a, it's got the it. best kid's fight movie, scene by a mile. That Darth Maul fight scene, hands down, is the, oh, best, yeah, the best, yeah. best fight scene yeah. in all the films. Can we talk about how much Back to the Future 3 sucks it's ass It's so really fucking quick. bad. Like, what? <laughs> Have we just become nerds? I hated really the fact... <laughs> Yes, we did. <laughs> I hate the fact that at, at the end of two, they showed you scenes from three, and like, it's when the, the hell did this happen? When the hell did this happen? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, what the fuck? Oh, now we're gonna get a western. And it's like, how many times are you gonna do that scene where he wakes up in the dark? Yeah. He's like, oh, oh, I had a terrible nightmare. Oh, and we're right it... here on the good old twenty seventh floor. Or yeah. It's like, you no. gotta watch out for old Tex Tannen. Mom? Oh, old Mad Tex Mad Dog Tannen. <laughs> oh, God, it sucked. It was like a made for TV. That movie was like when they did Sex of Life Go to Europe. <laughs> and you're like, oh, let it go. Yeah, and now already. It was bad enough, the over the top Griff, Griff Tannen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told you never to stop it. Yeah. It's like, all right, we get it. He's way over the Hover top. Hoverboards don't work on water, McFly. <laughs> you to our power. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it was horrible. Yeah. yeah, the third one, I uh, did not appreciate the third one. And the love interest with Doc ruined it. Just uh, no fucking love interest. Well, yeah. you're supposed to believe Mary Steenburgen would fuck Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> Yeah, Looking no, more ridiculous no than he looks in real God, life. God, she that? fucks Ted Danson. It's, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, like the first one was good. It had it had like a, an edge to it. Uh, uh, not almost. It did. They were using language in that that was like fuck. You know. Yeah, I remember. I, I saw the first one when I was about. I guess I was nine. And I was really, it upset me in the theater because I only knew Michael J. Fox as the cool guy from Facts of Life. And no, I family ties. Family ties. Family ties. Yeah. And uh, I was like, like Andy Cohen was the cool guy from the Facts of Life. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to see the guy from Family Ties in a movie. And he started cursing, and it upset me so much Dennis? as a nine year old. Yeah, when I was nine. Oh, yeah. Have you seen Teen Wolf? Oh, faggot. Yeah. <laughs> no, Teen Wolf wasn't out yet. What Teen Wolf was before. Of course, I'm a little faggot. I'm sitting here saying I like the Phantom Menace. Teen Wolf was before, Teen Wolf Back, was to the before Back to the Future. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't think he would have done Teen no. Wolf after Back to the Future, would he? No, Teen no. Wolf was after Back to it the Future. Just, sure? It was definitely before. I'd be willing to place a bet on wow. it. Wow. Right, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm so putting I'm 20 gonna... in. I'm putting 20 in. I have $10 in my pocket. All right, That's all I got. I right. got a $10 bet. What is that, like £2.50? Fucking bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, $10 bet. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, Back to the Future was... uh. 84 and Teen Wolf was 85. 85. 85. Teen Wolf was 82. 82? Not sure. 82? He's not no sure. way. He's lying. I, I've seen him. <laughs> oh, okay. BB. All right. Uh, this, this is this is very exciting. Yes, it is. It's this a is, wager. This is quality right here. <laughs> well, of course, the internet never works as fast as you want. It <laughs> That's to. the way it is, and Murphy's Law. Uh, <laughs> and on a, on a side note, if you guys want, I do have audio of uh, Mary Steam. What's her name? Mary Steenburgen. Yes, yes. yeah. uh, talking shit about how she hated uh, number two but loves number three, obviously because Get she was in it. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 of course she's gonna fucking the say only that. 
The only redeeming part of number three was when you thought that Doc died at the end. You're like, wow, he died to save Marty. That's awesome. And then he and comes then back in the time the train. Oh, uh, what do you do? They're both 1985. Oh. Uh, but Back to the Future is listed as him having done it first in, in uh, uh, 85. Excuse me. Wait, first before what? That was Teen close. Wolf. Oh. It says Back to the Future, Teen Wolf. Family Ties Vacation, which I guess was a TV movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he goes, exactly he goes to Oxford to, yeah. to, to, yes. to live for Parkinson's medication. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking spill-proof cups. I, I could have sworn. <laughs> Back to the Future 2 was in 89, right after Casualties of War. So you're saying I've lost this bet? That's a surprise, actually. I think you've lost this bet by a nose. Yep. Give wow. up some of that Caroline's money, buddy. Three? Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. three? Oh, you got American money, too, Jim Jim. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to roll in this country. Hey, let's time. get a Psycho Bob in Baltimore. Baltimore. Psycho Bob. Good morning, boys. Hey. Good morning, Mr. Hollywood. Hi. Hey, uh, I was wondering if on the next segment we could maybe share some recipes for picnics this coming summer. <laughs> Shut up! We're talking movies, you fucking queer. I don't know. Is that is that an in joke? Uh, asshole. He's implying that we're a bunch oh, of fucking we're, kinda, we're a bunch oh. of hands right now. Oh. I, 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 I always bring this up, but don't you think it was odd that uh, the McFlies would have Biff waxing the car and helping him out at the end and, and saying we never would have met if it wasn't for Biff? Mm -hmm. Trying to rape your mother. <laughs> like, 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 that would be someone you wouldn't invite over to wax your fucking car or do anything. You'd punch him every time you see him. It's like, there's a stay away from that guy. He tried to rape your mother. Yeah, they keep him around. And it's like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll put another <laughs> coat of wax on. That is, and George really just got lucky with that punch, too. Like, if I was Biff, I just would have fucked him up the next day. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> why Yeah, why didn't he just fucking clock him the next day? Oh, he kicked the shit oh, out of Biff him. Biff was yeah, they, of a pussy. They don't count an almost rape. That there's guy's still invited over for the holidays. He's like, like, of him for the rest shut of his the life. door, McFly. Yeah. Yeah. And if McFly would have just, like, started thinking about walking away and shutting the door... She would have just gotten fucking raped by Biff. That, that wasn't was rape in there. Racism. I meant... Or call black guys spooks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, beat it, spook. That wasn't rape in the 50s, I guess. No, that, that was, was just like dating. nowadays. That was dating. <laughs> I'm gonna marry you! <laughs> she was no, be my girl! Yeah. yeah. Be my girl! Uh, <laughs> not, uh, <laughs> when, when, he's, when he's on the uh, street, he just starts grabbing her ass and trying to lift her skirt up. Yeah. 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 Town Square in Hill Valley. Uh, there's, 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 there's more innocent time, time Danny. This must have been a good time for rape. There's an innocent time. What did we know? We didn't know rape was bad for you. Like cigarettes. How the fuck? Did he not see him in the rearview mirror in the fucking car? That was oh, so what? stupid. He's talking on the walkie-talkie. He's like yelling. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Doc, I'm trying to get this fucking sports almanac. Uh, yeah, no, I'm in the back seat of uh, Biff's uh, car. Yeah, Biff's driving it right now, and he doesn't hear me. We're in a tunnel and everything. Yeah. Oh, wait. Holy shit. I have this just a uh, premonition that he's going to turn around and look. Let me duck. Yeah. And he just looked. Okay, I'm back up. Yeah, Doc, holy shit, I'm trying to get this fucking thing. <laughs> it was. It's like, come on already. It, 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 and it, he probably wanted to duck down, but you know how shitty directors are. They're probably, could you cheat up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, cheat yeah. Up cheat a little up. Bit. He won't see you. Sitting full up in the back seat. If this fucking guy sitting on the bleachers shows me that god fucking newspaper one ah, more time well, no, and distracts funny. me, I'm you gonna don't care. fucking... I'm gonna no, it's fucking... Me. I don't know what... What is it? It's, it's a write-up of it's uh, a write -up Jim Jackson. I swear, dude... I'm so, I've am never thrown a, a, a fucking audience member out of well, this place. Well, you didn't see it. I fucking look over oh, every two seconds. What is it? Do you know what a, a fucking distraction that is? That I'm trying to talk and you're holding something up and pointing. Three fucking times you did it. I'm trying to... I, I didn't acknowledge you. Three fucking times you distracted the uh, piss out of me. Mike's Obama off. thing is getting to him. I'm, I'm a bad boy. Hold on, guys. This what, is getting what to is you. That, Sean, for the Bronx. I was just trying to get Jeffrey to actually uh, turn around so that I should see it from here. Yeah, you, but, did, but do you mate, understand mate, what mate, we're I'm, carrying I'm, on a conversation? I'm on the air, mate. I'm a bit busy to read an article about myself and how funny I am and how I'm performing at Caroline's tonight and, 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 and Sunday. Out of my peripheral, this fucking sh he's waving a paper at me. While you guys were, like, when I was waiting for you guys to come over, yeah. I was listening to them talk. I wasn't oh. going to make fun of him, but I'm glad you just yelled at him. Oh, good. This, You know when you hear a great non sequitur, right? Yeah. I'm sitting there... I'm sitting there. <laughs> 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 there <laughs> so so annoying. Annoying. Holy shit, dude. All he right, goes, I get it. He goes, I hear him go, 
He was talking about being somewhere where Tina Fey was. How the fuck did that happen? I have no idea. And he goes, I made Tina Fey laugh, man. He goes, I'm telling you, dog. If Tina Fey wasn't married with a kid, I'd be all on that shit. Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> like, that's what Tina charges. Fey... Oh, like, Tina Fey's sitting there going, if it wasn't for this fucking wife or the husband and kid, I'd fuck this guy with the wow <laughs> sticker yeah. taped to his jacket <laughs> right now. <laughs> Holy annoying motherfucker. <laughs> wow. You know, we've had a multitude of different people there oh, over, I thought you were over say the years. Of annoying motherfuckers. No, no, and I I I've never in all the times had mm -hmm. an annoy a person annoy me as much as you just did. You distracted the piss out of me three times I'm trying to talk and you're pointing. Don't you understand we're doing a show? Like, if, if fucking you went to a taping of, like, a, a, a TV series, and they have a live audience, do you think you can just point at the fucking, <laughs> as the guy's trying to do something? Holy shit. And he killed some pretty sweet Back to the Future talk, no too. No shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we yeah. got to hear Put number three in this back on track. Two. Hi, Bosh, on that fucking I thing. I want to personally yeah, yeah. thank the guy in the bleachers for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, hey, I got to get to Jim Jeffries because uh, I didn't forget, my friend. What? I got a text message from you. God, uh, you yes. asked me six to eight months ago. You go, thanks a lot. My mom thinks I'm gay. Yeah, my mom thinks. I, I don't know if you, like, about six months ago when I was last on. Well, whenever it was. Me, me yeah. Jim, and Patrice had a fairly... Uh, Heated debate over whether I'm gay because I snowball and felch. Right. He said yes, and you said possibly. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it, was, it went on for about ten minutes. It wasn't much of a debate. You were the only one that said. Uh, well, you no, no, Jim stuck up for me. Of course did, I did. did yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've never felched, but I'm not above talking to a girl. Perhaps I would lick my own cum off her. I, it does nothing for me, but the idea of it we, might we turn me on. If it was dirty enough for her. We can't start this again. This will go off. No, no, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no, you let your own come up. I've never done that. I, I, the reason why I can't say this is because what happened was mm. someone puts a 10-minute clip of a picture of me in my underwear on YouTube. I'm just, and it's called, Is Jim Jeffries Gay? <laughs> on YouTube, right? And, and it's just, it's, <laughs> so this isn't helping your cause, I, by I, the way. I don't, I don't watch, I don't, I don't Google myself that much. And I, 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 my, my mum does it every day, yeah. right? So she rings me out like this, and this is the opening sentence. It just goes like this. I think you're gay. And I'm going, what, mum, what, what? It's like the middle of the night. I go, what are you talking about? Licking semen out of people's bottoms. It's disgusting. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she, goes, she goes, you disgust me. You disgust me like this, right? And then she goes, that's, that's the clip there. Yeah. That's an old publicity photo, right? <laughs> and she goes on and on and on about oh. me. And she goes, what, what are the people down at the shops <laughs> going to think? And I go, what are you fucking talking about what they're going to think? So then I think everything's okay. I think everything's okay. My mum thinks I'm gay. She doesn't speak to me for a month. <laughs> everything's fine. I, I talk around. I say, it's all radio shit. I just make it up. Don't make it for, I, I don't do any of these things, mum. And then uh, about a week after that, she sees remove your hat. And <laughs> oh yeah, oh you're a part of that. I forgot. Oh, Jim, I that listen to that. Huge. I watch that oh, sometimes. Oh my god, yeah. Because the funny part for watching "Remove Your Hat" <laughs> "Remove Your Hat" is to watch Jeffries get caught up in the wave of, of joy. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's like the second time through, you're laughing and laughing, and then the hysterical wave hits you, and you just under... It, it, it reaches you. <laughs> I know. I watch it back. I try to feel bad about it. I try, I try to watch it. I try to feel remorse. I do everything I can, yeah, yeah. and as soon as that wheel's spinning in the spot of the camera, <laughs> That's what got it. I'm over. And I've done bad Her things. Her hair being blasted aside. I've gotten drunk at parties and gone to people, do you want to see the funniest thing ever? <laughs> yeah. And then showed it to them, and people just look at me like I'm sick. I think, Joe, you'd be outraged. What is Remove Your Hat? I don't know what it's it is. It's a 101 year old woman. Why do we put no, it on? Let me, let me explain, though. There's three or four different versions of that on YouTube, but the funniest one is... Do we have the one with Jeffries? Because the uh, what happens is this: there's a, a very rude woman. <laughs> I don't say I don't say anything funny Here in the whole thing. I'm just laughing. Wait, but, hold on. on! But how does that turn into your mom still thinking you're my, gay? My, no, my mom watched it. She's decided to Google some more stuff, and she just gets more and more disappointed with everything that I say on this show. Oh. Right. To the extent where she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Yeah. She goes, what? She goes, what if th that was me being up, being beaten up? And I went, well, Mum, you're like 67. You'd put up more of a fight. <laughs> and then I was like, hang on. You've punched me more than that black guy punched that 101-year-old woman. Yeah. He wasn't <laughs> punching her. She was rude.
Moon, he was assist. That's called a lesson in manners that right. she will soon forget. <laughs> he was her medicine. Her hat. She was wearing Sorry. a hat. His <laughs> fist is a spoonful it's, of sugar. It's every time you say she's late on, she's late on her hat payments, I'm fucking pissed with that. That's the funniest thing that, that anyone's ever said. Late on her hat payments? <laughs> So, I get, you're, Joe doesn't know the video. Do we have Danny's it? pulling it up. Okay. So I can watch this thing. Do you want us to Google bomb Jim Jeffries is gay? If, if you want to listen to it, it's. I hear it. Hear it. Well, no. can we put it up on the big screen or no? Nah, okay. they're fixing it. Oh, but someone pieced this there, together. Is there volume? Someone went through all the footage to know where we were talking. Oh, there's the. Oh, you're not, you're not. country over the last. Frank, 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 Frank. I'm gonna get. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the walker wheels. Look at the wheels. Teacher. Frank Benson Lake. This tape is called Rich Voss trying to get paid a governor. <laughs> 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 I'm going to this is real. This is oh, yeah, it's real. absolutely real. The guy got arrested. Watch, watch your hair fluff out. Watch your hair fluff out with life. <laughs> <laughs> You're insane, Jerry. You're insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have a feeling payments are late. <laughs> There's the lie. Holy it's shit. Just... So, Joe, what do you think? Oh. It, was, it was hilarious. I feel terrible for laughing yeah. at it. It was hilarious. But it was, what was making me laugh was, was, laugh. Yeah, was Jeffrey's laugh. going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and every time you hear that laugh, it would coincide right with her getting that fucking right <laughs> shot to the, to the fucking ear. Dude, oh. It wasn't just the guy laughing. It was the clip. It reached Jim. It, it was yeah, like... Yeah. He, he, it was like he it got him in the soul of being funny. It just, <laughs> Holy shit. It's uh, called it's Remove still, Your Hat on still YouTube. still the funniest thing on earth. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I do feel bad. Of course. But uh, I do watch it to cheer myself exactly. up. I hate the fact that the camera doesn't catch her on the ground. <laughs> She's a fucking clumsy old bitch had to fall out of frame. Uh, that's what Jesus, made it. directing this. The wheel spinning in frame that makes it so funny. If, they, if, if the picture yeah. was clearer, it wouldn't be as funny. The fact that it was all grainy and like a horrible silent movie... <laughs> Oh, the, clip, the clip, the oh. Jim's right. The clip does scream Jim Jeffries because <laughs> that is the kind of thing you'd laugh at, and you're you're just game for anything. That's what I like. About, remember when we got the shit so faced after we did Down and Dirty? Yeah, with you, Jim. You, you can tell everyone. And you went to that fucking. We, I took. Jim's like, oh, I'm fucking horny. I'm gonna fucking go to the jack shit. He wanted to whack off somewhere, so I brought him up into this fucking place on Forty Second Street, and he's shit faced, and he's just there's one fat stripper working <laughs> at two in the morning, and he's shit faced, and I'm bartering the fucking deal because he's so drunk he can't understand his Cockney or whatever fucking part of England he's from, and he's going. The girl's going, so for $30, you can come in here and play with himself. And he's going, oh, can, can, can I have a wank? Like, can I have a wank? And I go, yeah, you can have a wank. Go in. And he's going, oh, I'm going to have a wank right in there. And he's like in disbelief. I go, yeah, you can have a wank. I can't believe it. It was like a public place. Yeah, I finally I snapped. He's like, can I, but the fifth time, can I have a wank? I'm like, yeah, you can fucking jerk <laughs> off in there. Go and fucking play with yourself yeah, in that closet. And the cool thing was, all the comics waited out in front of the door for me to do it, and then we all had McDonald's. <laughs> 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 like, like nothing happened. Hey, let's. Uh, How did you guys have so much fun no, after the, sh the shoot? I did uh, nothing after the fucking we, shoot. We, we, we just went to Manhattan. We got in the car. God damn it! Shoot. I came up to get you and say thank you and be like, "Hey, we're all gonna go out if you want to go." But you were like in the room with Lemmy, and it was. Okay. I was like, "He's gonna be in there for hours." Yeah, so. yeah. That, that was, was so funny that shoot because American TV. Oh. Is different to British TV. British TV, they try to get your shit face so that you're like uh, you're you're all loose on stage. 
And I'm like, I go up to like one of the producers on Norton's show and I go, can I, can I have a beer? And they looked at me like I should be in an AA program. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and, and they go, what? You're about to be on television. And I'm like, yeah, well, so yeah. that's why I'd like to have a beer. So I'm relaxed. <laughs> but you're, you're, you don't get it. This is going to be broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then someone, yeah, someone like, comes up to me and goes, look, I didn't tell you. But there's a bottle of Jack Daniels in Lemmy's room. <laughs> of course there is. Do you know that on the Tonight Show, before you go on, they come around to the dressing rooms and they go, cocktail? And yeah. they'll make you a drink. Oh, yeah, you guys know. They, they, they want to make you a drink. They kind of want part of the actors, especially who get nervous. Just get a little loose. Hey, yeah, we got but, a guy that snowballed mm -hmm. for the first time. Oh. I don't want to lose this guy. Oh. John in Pennsylvania. Hey, boys. What's up, John? Hey, man. Hey, Jim, I'm, I agree with you, man. It's the first time I came in my wife's pussy. And about 20 minutes later, she's like, listen, I want you to clean my pussy out from your cum. And I did it, and I got to tell you, I was born horny as a mother. Did she do, did she, did she use the words clean like that? Sexy. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really I mean, a toilet brush. Why? That's Yo, not Jimmy, sexy. I, I also want to tell you, dude, I read your book. It's fucking phenomenal. Oh, I read one... your book, you magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Fucking awesome, Jimmy. You rule. Thanks a lot, man. All right, John. All right, John. Roll. Thanks, John. See ya. Is there anything more disgusting than the word pussy in a hard Pennsylvania accent? <laughs> pussy. Was that a Pennsylvania? Was that a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, DeRose, where are you going to be? I'm at Gotham this week, and I'm competing with Jim Jeffries. Oh, boy, now we got a problem. I'm at Gotham Halloween night, two shows, and three shows on Saturday, November 1st. Well, he's he's only competing with us. On Saturday. You can see both of us. You guys want to oil wrestle or something to see who gets the big plug uh, after ooh. the... At the end I, don't, of the show. I don't think I get well, a door split. I'm, I'm happy. I don't think his mom, his mom won't like that. Yeah. Be more gay. Yeah, my, I, I don't even oh, start. Wow. Every fucking time. What's wrong with you? I'm not even going to tell the so audience what, what you just gay? did. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. If you, if, if, would you 69 with a girl yeah. and lick her clit while a guy was fucking her? No, no, that's that's too many. Holy that's, shit! That's, that's, this took way too long, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's, that's testicles on my forehead. Way too fucking long to answer <laughs> that's that. Testicles on my forehead. <laughs> that's that's flies eyes forehead. Would you? He was, just, <laughs> he, was he was just making a diagram in would, his head to try to see. Would you oh, which fuck way her? Yeah, how that would work? Would Would you fuck a tranny? I'd get no, blown by a tranny. No, I wouldn't no, fuck I one. No, I wouldn't even get blown by a tranny. I don't like fucking trannies. Yeah. I don't like that. I find that fucking weird. Are you a communist? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. It is weird. I don't like that. No, nah, like hermaphrodites, there you go. A, a cock Back and on a, the same page. A cock and a cunt, I don't like that. That's no <laughs> Exactly. Good. Make no, a decision, guy. Yeah, make a decision. Don't I don't know, where, these two I don't know whether options. to kiss you or punch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like into uh, Asian uh, bitches. But uh, they do seem to make the best trannies. Well, it depends on what you're uh, looking for, Ant. Um, I would I say like the Spanish, Oriental but you'd like they, they seem to make the most realistic-looking girls out of a guy. But, yeah, you know, but I, I, I'm not, I'm like not even into chick-fucking Asian girls. The Asians and blondes, because the less hairy they were beforehand. <laughs> that usually is a good thing. Yeah. Less hair, more gooder. Yeah, nobody wants a, <laughs> Greek, a Greek tranny. <laughs> Knuckles like Rubens. I want you to fuck me when I watch Kojak. I think I've ever seen. Is there ever been an Arab trendy? Oh yes, there has been. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that I know of one who travels to Dubai, but yeah. It's easy once you put the burqa on. Just go. Look, I'm all changed. I'm a girl now. I'm a girl. How convincing is this? Yeah, like oh look. Yeah. Check check for the Adam's eyes. It's funny. You know, that's how you know if she's a tranny when you're cutting. If you cut through the Adam's apple, I should be heading her. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely culture. <laughs> what are you, if I may ask? Yeah. Oh, and a. What are yes. your thoughts on trannies? I know Jim's take on all this so, stuff, but so I don't know. Out. No. So out. Um, it's a, a not not sexual at all. It's a, a a curiosity. It's one of those things where, and not curious to do anything. But if I see like pictures of a tranny, I I have to look and go. Okay, w yeah, that one can't pass. No, yeah. that one. All right, that one kind of passes. Like I, I just judge them. Well, mm -hmm. you were very judgmental. You would look mm -hmm. like it's a freak show or something. Yeah, it's like, get like turned on by it. So yeah. you would get no. you would get blown yeah. by a tranny. Yeah, I think so. Knowing that there's a cop. No, 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 this, no sex at all. Ugh. This is when I cross the barrier. There you go. That's, there. There you go. Actually, oh, absolutely. No, I'm kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a wait, difficult wait, wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Joe. Absolutely well, what? I was going to say what, I We're absolutely let her blow me, but what, what, when I realized I'll I crossed like the full-on barrier with trannies was when 
I was I started kind of looking at him a little bit on the internet and kind of whacking off to him and stuff. And I was talking <laughs> to my buddy about it, and he goes, "What buddy?" I go, <laughs> <laughs> "I go, did you?" Uh, I go, "Dude, I kind of like trannies, I think a little bit." And he goes, "Dude, that I, I think that means you're a little bit gay." And I go. Does it? And he goes, well, what do you watch him do? Like, watch a tranny fuck a chick? And I'm like, no, I'll just watch one by herself jerk off. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, no, that's that's gay. And like, <laughs> yeah, that, and, that disgusts me. <laughs> can I, can, can I say, a friend of mine, a girl who I uh, am very close to who does porn, fucked a tranny in a video and uh, it was sexy because she's my friend, so I know. Like, I think it's sexy that I can Wait, see her. Wait, the tranny fuck. was using the cock, or she was using a strap on. The tranny has her own cock. Yeah, um, obviously. she doesn't have it anymore. She's Hence post up now. But my friend's, you know, she's a girl, and she's uh, was was the girl strap could... on fucking the tranny? No, I, from what I remember, the tranny was fucking her. So it was like perverse. But it was it was hot. Okay, to, see that's okay to watch. I could watch that. Yeah, the I could, girl is a guy that. with tits fucking a chick. But part of it is the girl. <laughs> that's great I, too. The girl I know is such a <laughs> pervert. I know she's a fucking pervert for real, and she loves the idea. Because she was telling me, God, I want to fuck Vicky, and she was telling me who this. Oh no, Danielle, this girl she wants to fuck this tranny, and she kept Danny. saying that. No, not <laughs> this. That, no, of course, no. That's what I mean. It must have been Danny or <laughs> something oh, Danielle. like that. Danielle. Yes. Oh, the of original name. Danielle. Okay. Yeah. You know what the original name was. <laughs> they uh, always they always do these little takeoffs on their real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel who? Yeah, right. Anthony. But call me Anne. Yeah, all right, right. sure. Chuckina. Yeah, Chuckina. <laughs> <laughs> but like Charles will always be Charlene or something. It's like yeah, I don't know. It's... Yeah, it's. I don't like that they do that. It's like I don't want to know anything. It's completely separated. I just want to pretend you're a girl that had a penis attached <laughs> to you magically, and your vagina was removed. I don't want to fucking know there was ever a they dude. They are there. girls. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. You know what? I don't care what the fuck you say. There's no way you're getting rid of that musky man ass smell. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wouldn't fuck one. It's like, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> wow, you're hot. Ew. You wouldn't poke vanity. <laughs> I wouldn't. Who's, is vanity? Is that an expression or is vanity a tranny? <laughs> Jesus. Is that vanity? Is this hot, uh, Joe? Uh, yeah, it's not. Joe, is that that's hot? like meat spit on its side. By the way, Danny's amazing. All right, give us a look at that. Give us a look at that. Porn. Yes. Yeah, I think that's hot. I really face. do. <laughs> She's so fucking hot. Look at her. The face is, but the rotten right. little penis way, the little hot oh, Frank. Oh. Yeah. She's, no, she's, she's even covering it. She's ashamed. You can so see watching. that's a guy. <laughs> the window <laughs> watches Chanel Porter. The window watches. <laughs> <laughs> the window watches looks at and my watch can fucking tranny porn. <laughs> two, two guys on the bleachers. <laughs> Yeah, but they clean oh, they clean these windows last week, so they know they're yeah, guaranteed the to see something good every now time they, know they come by this window. Up. <laughs> so, uh, what about she, pop up a, a picture of Vandy? See if you can get a good picture of her. Is, is she a famous one? Is she? She's the one of the biggest. Yeah. What I'm saying, dude, is theoretically, huh. yeah, I'd fuck a tranny. It's not like I'm like, ugh, fucking him is gross. I just think if it came down to it and it was right in front of me, like Anthony said, I think I'd get a little whiff of that musty it's man. A man, ass. man. I think up close, it'd be like seeing a celebrity in real life for the first time. You're like, wow, they look better on TV. You know what I mean? I think <laughs> yeah. when you got up close, you're like, this does look kind of mannish, way more than it did on TV. Great way of looking at you it. You think between those fucking thighs, it doesn't smell like uh, a oh. little uh, gamey, like when you're fucking sweating? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Uh, no. That's actually not even a very good picture. What she's, is that? She very much looks no, like a it's, chick. No, she's got a dick. Guy. <laughs> Look, let's just go back down to the thing. It's a dick. You it's a that's fucking thanks, dick. Thanks for injecting some sense what, what, into this. What, 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 hey, what do you do when you're in the movies? Hey, his name's not Indiana. It's Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it comes full circle. That's my fucking what point. Spoil Suspended. sport. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm meant to feel bad about waking off in a booth on 42nd Street, and you guys are talking about fucking me with dicks. Dude, ten dicks could not equate that fucking animal that you whacked off to. Holy shit, what the fuck is going on? Man, that's not real. That's, no, that's CGI. That's, 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 that's CGI. CGI. No, it's not. That What, what happens there, that's that's, uh, that's silicone injected. That, that's Stop the, it. That's, yeah. that, no, that's the yes, fifth Indiana Jones We're film. looking at a huge hog But it's disgusting. It's, it's, it's silicone injections. Hey, this guy brought a tranny home. Let's uh, talk to Beef. Oh, uh, what's cute. your last name? Beef Supreme. Supreme? Uh, lover from New Mexico. <laughs> Beef. Hi, boys. What's hey, up, Beef? buddy? 
None of Fucking one night when I was in college, I took this. I thought it was just a fucking random ass Mexican chick home. Fucking, she sat me down on her on her bed in her apartment. And fucking, dropped her fucking skirt and there's a big old fucking meat rod in my face. So you just you were obligated. You were there, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, who's looking at that point? Yeah, wrap it in a tortilla yeah. and put it down, man. What'd you do? Did you toot out a little? <laughs> You're already at the point I where you know you thought you were I getting laid. I and fucking ran out the room. No, you didn't. Scary shit. You didn't run out. That's what you wish you did. <laughs> what'd you really do, sir? <laughs> That's, what, That's what you tell your friends you did. Where are your yeah. Where are your different? We don't know who yeah. you are. What'd you really do? What are you ashamed of at this yeah. point? I'm ashamed did, of the whole thing. Did you kiss the pre, the tip and there was pre cum and you pulled your lip back and there was a trail of pre cum? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> From your lip to the tip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I fucking ran out of there like I had a warrant and she was a cop. Nah. <laughs> dude, 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 did now, she catch you, tackle you, and rape you? No, I uh -huh. never looked back. Hold on, you went. You, I thought you said you went to your house. Yep. So you left the tranny. Just so you left the, the tranny joint? at your house. No, it was. Oh, there's some holes in this door. What happened? What happened? What happened? I fucking ran. But it was your house. It wasn't my. I never said it was my house. It was her apartment. Oh. You're, you said she you said you're in my fucking okay. house. Now, before you got to the apartment, how does that work out? There's got to be a little kissing in the vehicle or something. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, uh, so you kissed a man. Yeah. Fucking queer. <laughs> 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 fucking can I, can I say, <laughs> though? <laughs> you English cigarette. <laughs> my friend, uh, Vanity, who, uh, you know... <laughs> I may, uh, there may have been footage of a uh, certain ex heavyweight champion making out with her at, uh, or kissing her at a fucking porn awards because she's so passable, people don't know. I didn't know when I first saw her. Really? Yeah, I, 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 I fucking rode home 20 minutes with her. I could not fucking, no fucking clue. Sometimes you really yeah. don't so know. So you're so embarrassed that you, uh, rang a radio station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. how, how's that working worst, out for worst, you, worst queer? Worst moment of my life. <laughs> okay, let me, let me stop the, uh, the, this is what happened. He's telling the truth up to the point where that big old thing was in my face, and then this is what you heard. Oh. <laughs> no, fuck it. And they just, <sighs> I like it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Jimmy, I would definitely buy your book if I read. What's that? I said I would definitely buy your book if I read. That's, he, that's he was your... blowing snots onto the base of the shaft. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. He couldn't get it all in his mouth. So the ba the, there was a probably like an inch between, or three inches, between the fucking, <laughs> this, her belly and, and pubic hair and his lip. And it was like... <laughs> 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 Because he kept trying to stick his tongue out and lick the balls because he saw it in a movie once. <laughs> Holy shit. I like how you still, even though nobody could see it, put the hand on the back of your I own have, head I'm to do the force blow job. You push, you push your own head forward. And it's radio. <laughs> Very realistic, Jimmy. Uh, well, I just, man. you know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't believe that guy's story. I think he's. I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. Something he's just, leaving he out. Just it either right. never happened or he gave everything a suck happened. Out real, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's an all or nothing call. Yeah. Now I don't. I don't think I even believe that he got a tranny. I think That's what just, I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah either yeah, either yeah. nothing happened or he fucking got or, fucked in the ass by an eight inch <laughs> tranny cock. <laughs> so you and then sucked his own shit off of the head. Jesus, maybe not that quite extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just jerked each other off, man. Uh, maybe there was no passing of dysentery. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, this is, this is, this is, you love this, don't you? Uh, uh, I wouldn't have uh, recognized her. No? Yeah, I'd like to see the, the boob yes, and tits. I, I don't so. want a close up on the penis. You try not to look yeah. at certain things. You know, you just. You, you pick what you want you to look, look at. Their at. Face, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. The tits are a yeah, little this is, this weird. This is my whole but... thing, right? If you're going, I don't really want to watch the cock. I just want to look at the face and tits. Then get, get a, a woman. A no, no, no. I want to look at the tits and the cock. I want to see it all together. I don't want to see a close-up oh, on the cock. Oh, look, they're rubbing dicks together. Oh, they're rubbing dicks together. Oh, what are you supposed to do? They're, like, they're like Eskimos. Oh, and I'm not oh, into that. I'm not into watching guys blow trannies. Especially guys you're, with hair like that. His hair is, is a to die for. <laughs> I don't, there's something Literally. wrong about guys sucking <laughs> dick in there. It's just so, I can never get over. I try to be a liberal man. Something wrong by you mean it makes me puff up a little bit and I'm embarrassed of yeah. it, so I try to avoid what it. Like, yeah, like, swelling like, in your undies? It's all right, Jim. <laughs> uh, oh, say, yeah. But with the, yeah that kind let's of say how to Jake. You're lying, life. but your penis tells the truth, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Jake, what's up? Hey, how's it going, fellas? Love hey, Jake. Show. Jimmy, you rock, man. I can't wait to read your new book. Oh, thank you. It's out Tuesday. Tuesday. Hey, uh, 
I, when I was in the Navy back in the 80s, man, oh, we went over oh, to uh, well, Singapore. That oh, yeah. When we were taking leave, we'd go downtown, you know, and the first thing we want to do is get some booze and stuff. But there was these uh, things that used to come out at night, and they were he -shees. They were men who had complete sex changes, and they were hotter than shit, dude. Yeah. Um, I was with a couple, and, man, I people give me crap all the time. They're like, yeah, it was a guy. I was, well, it used to be a guy, but, dude, I was with her, and I banged the crap out of her, and I... I must have jacked in her face, you know, when I came, I must have came like 38 times. I mean, it, no, it was, I, I, I Exactly. After 34, yes. it's all bullshit. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah I you were just telling that thing dust. Man. She didn't look like a dude at all, you know? She had a nice tight pussy and everything. Yes, she had yeah. a nice inverted penis. Yeah, well, uh, whatever, you know, I mean, I had a good time. Hey, I'm not yelling at you. All right. No, all right. It was like Let's five forget bucks. that whole thing happened. Put yeah. behind us. I apologize. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Let's go to El Paso. Jason uh, has a good story, too. Jason. Yeah, I, I live on the border of Mexico. We used to party down in, in Mexico. Uh, we were like 18, 19 years old. And one of my friends hooks up, and he's, he's one of these guys that whenever he got fucked up, he had to hook up. It didn't matter how bad these chicks were. Well, this one may have been a two, one of Jimmy style. And they're getting fucked up and making out. Well, she drags him into the bathroom and blows him. Then stands up and says, my turn. He says, okay. And then she whips out her cock. Now, the fucked up thing was, I mean, obviously she had a cock, but... He says, hey, the chick I just met out with that blew me, it was a dude. He could have gotten away with it and never had to hear it again. <laughs> he never lived that shit down for years. He just blurted it out. Well, huh? it sounds to me like friends ought to be more supportive in those situations. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so Joe, Joe, <laughs> I, wanted to say you get a disease and one yeah. I wanted to ask you, you, you made an interesting point earlier when I when I said it looks like a woman, and you went, they are women. Of course they are. What are we, silly geese? <laughs> but I mean, that's what I wanted to ask. Right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> point taken. They're, they're, they're I can't argue women. that. that was, no. <laughs> of course they are. Can't deny that. I thought Can't. you were going to come out with some sort of scientific, no, like, I am. I am being scientific. <laughs> they have can, cock and balls makes them yeah. a You man. throw all these things around willy-nilly. means nothing can, anyway. Can they get impregnated? <laughs> What's that? Can they bear children? Why would you come in them? What are you fucking, what are you all? Yeah, you can't uh, come in them. They don't have a cunt. You come in their ass. Exactly. You can't get someone pregnant like Ass that. Babies. They all speak Greek. <laughs> Ass babies. <laughs> well, some women can't get pregnant, so exactly. maybe they're just like they're like barren women. They yeah, all but, have but, but, but I don't, I don't <laughs> count. I don't count barren women as real women either. They exactly. sick in me. If you're at home and you're crying because That's you can't funny. bear kids, <laughs> you're sick. You're, you're sick in me. There's something wrong with you. You're not a real woman. You're a, you're a, you're a fucking you're a gutted brownstone with tits. <laughs> no, I, 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 may, may I say I was just kidding. joking about that. It's a horrible thing. I hope you're okay. I was only, I was only making a joke. <laughs> Uh, it's Joe I, DeRosa. People are like, who's the other funny Joseph, guy? Joe's very funny in studio today. Thanks. Joe DeRosa playing Gotham over there over the weekend. Yes, yes, sir. Jim Jeffries, Caroline, Caroline. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll meet again and we'll, we'll compare numbers. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna beat me. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. No one knows who I am. I'm an unknown. No, you're kind of. I say I know these guys. That's how much you have fame credits in England. Don't you? Yeah, I got, yes. I got, I got credits. I got, I, <laughs> I got this sitcom coming out, man. They can't fucking name the thing, and it it's a really bad way. If you ever get a sitcom, bad way to find out you can't act. I always thought, how fucking hard could it be? Dude, that's pretty fucking hard. Yes. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, you got to do stuff, move your arms, walk and shit. The moving your arms thing seems to be the hardest part. Like, what do you do with your hands? Yeah. You don't uh, realize in daily life that it's just such a natural thing. That whatever you're doing with your hands, you don't even notice uh, until someone tells you to act and you're just, ha, ah, I am ah, I don't, uh, trying so desperately to get onto a TV show to supplement my nothing fucking income that I have. <laughs> and I went into CBS yesterday to read for this pilot and there were two auditions going on. One was for 90210. And one was for the Karanskis. So you know what fucking show I was there to read for, right? <laughs> and we're on two facing couches, and I'm the only guy on the Karanskis couch. And there's eight fucking dudes on the 90210 couch that were just beautiful. And it was of just course. a meeting of the classes. It was like, here's the couch of guys that get pussy all the time with no problem. Here's the couch of guys that get called in to read for quirky sitcom roles. <laughs> and I shouldn't have even been on that couch. I should have been on a third fucking couch. Like, here are the guys that will do anything to get on TV, possibly, to hopefully get pussy one day for once in their fucking life. It was... 
it's pathetic. I got to get on a fucking TV show, and it's not going to happen because no. I don't know what to do with my hands. But it, yeah, it, it, see, what it do you, is what true. Do you, do? You, you audition in this I country. Do this. It is packed with hot people. Everywhere I go, yes. every audition I go for, the audition room is just like, these are the best looking people I've ever met in my life. In Britain, not the case. They're no. letting anyone on TV. Well, you do. You'd be a heartthrob. Ricky Gervais <laughs> was the best looking man they ever had. And I always moved over here. I want to come over there. I want to come to England, where I'll be appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you look like everyone else, just with nice teeth. Yeah. I want to. I want to. How do you think it go for me over there? Be fine. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm a sex symbol for goddamn it over there. <laughs> it's a horrible place, full of ugly people. I hey, love you, Britain. Love you. I would, I would be. I would be very popular in England. I'd use all the phrases. Oh yeah. Are you? They, they, yeah. They, they, I'd be like, I weigh fifty stone. You wankers. <laughs> would stone. laugh. Is that a lie? Fifty stone, that'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that'll that's a Guinness Book of Records stone. You got there. Yeah. Jimmy right, got I'm, another one. Hold on, Jimmy's got another one. Yeah, right, I'd be like, I'll be performing at the theater, T R E. Fucking place to go crazy. <laughs> they like it when you know their culture. Yeah. Like I rode over here on a second story of a bus. <laughs> Second story of the bus? Yeah, yeah that's the, good. Yeah. The old double deckers. Yeah. yeah. Say yeah. the word yeah. bollocks. Say the word bollocks. Oh, I will. Bollocks! Yeah, bollocks is a fucking good Yeah, that's really shop is. with two P's and an E on the end. <laughs> yeah. you, you, know, you, know what, you know what bollocks is, though, right? It's, it's balls. It's your, it's your balls, mm -hmm. right? But if you say something like bollocks, it means like bullshit, like rubbish. Bollocks! Right? Bollocks. But if you say something is the dog's bollocks, that means it's really, really good. It's yeah. like that saying like shit. That, that, that this paper, yeah. the dog's, it, no, it means it's really good. Like this yeah, feels the dog's you say shit. Well, it's really the shit. I mean, yeah. it's great. But if you say like it's shit, it's bad. But mm. the shit, it's yeah. all inflection too. Of course. Like uh, interesting. I like if I mm. do something good, I'll go wow, it was the shit. Yeah. Then you do something <laughs> bad, and it's like ah. Oh. It was that shit. was it's shit. The, it's the the <laughs> that fucking really makes it. So what other words you got first? Uh, fucking pounds. Pounds. I'll be like, I thought pounds was a weight unit. Well, you guys, it's money. What's up? What's, what's up with that? <laughs> what's all that about? Uh, the crowd will be like, oh, jolly good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love it. Bravo, bravo, man. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I would be like, uh, what about those, that incestuous fucking shitty family that runs your country? <laughs> oh, <laughs> jolly good. Yeah, the queen. Yeah. <laughs> what phrases did you adopt? To I'm, come here. I, well, I, I mean, you, you, you got to remember, I'm Australian, so I yeah. I feel more English now. But I adopted a lot of things when I moved over to Australia. I like the term "fit." If a girl's good looking, you say she's well fit. Yeah. Like the term she's "fit" well is fit. better than "hot." Like the same word as "hot" or "cute" or whatever. Fit. Right. Fit's a great word. Because well fit. fit means like she's just fucking. She's taking care of herself as well. I've noticed with Aussie girls have a certain look. They Aussie all girls have a look okay. where you can tell they're Australian. Australian girls have got too much sun in them. The good thing is you can fuck them for 20 years before they die of skin cancer. <laughs> like, they, they really, like, like seriously, Australian women look like wallets. <laughs> is, is, the, is the only thing I compare to them. They're just freckly and stuff. I think I told you this last Yeah, time. very freckly. One time I had a girl, this is just an Australian sentence that ever, she goes, she goes, um... I was fucking her, and she goes, if you like, you can goo on me face. <laughs> oh. that, that's if, adorable. If, 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 is, if you like, you, like. You, can, you can goo on me face. There's nothing more sexy than that you scene. You can goo on me face. Goo. I hope you did. That's fantastic. Did you? Oh, ah, yeah, of course I did. But there, there's, you can't get, you don't, can't, Australian girls don't <laughs> ask fuck. If you like. Right. Australian girls don't ask fuck, and I figured it out, it's the heat. You don't want to ask fuck in the heat. Oh. It's a cold weather activity. Yeah, yeah, you got to keep everything It really is, it's a cold weather. Refrigerated. You want everything, yeah, you want everything nice, you don't want anything steaming. That spoils very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be in the yeah. fridge. I, anal sex is the most perishable of all the sexes. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> It's like fucking an open tuna can that's been outside for a week. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're not supposed to take mayo sandwiches to the beach. It's common sense. You get salmonella from fucking around the shit. But, but British girls, British girls take it up the ass like a hobby. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they love it. They it's love nice it. and cold and rainy there, so it's that nice thing yeah. stays cold fucking fresh, and man. It's rainy, and they just they just take it up the ass, wow. British girls. All of them, especially, I'm telling you, Liverpool's the city to really do it. Yeah. Yeah, where the Beatles come from. They're That's a little skanky tan. there. They just fucking, you know, got a real fucking skanky fucking accent about them all covered in fake tan. It's really? Like, they're all covered in fake tan. Is that how they, they sound? Do I like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking... No, it's just like, you know, it's really great since you've come <laughs> over here. I'd really enjoy your company. 
Oh, oh. That's how they do it, right? They're, they're, yeah, no, it's, not, it's not like the old Beatles accent. That's the old Scouts accent. They're like, all right, John, you've had a good time. Let's all go. <laughs> now, that one's, that oh, one's sort uh, of dead. There's pudding leaking out of my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby's trying to freeze my shoulder blades and eat them. <laughs> but Scouts women, man, they fucking do it for wait, me. Wait. Paul, do you have some aspirin? I seem to have a headache. <laughs> do you have a machine that will zap me brain? I don't sound nothing like him, but we get the point. That, More that, brain cancer jokes. That, that Ringo Starr, don't send me any more autographs. I'm sure you've gone over it. A yeah, bit yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit, sure. I fucking, I love that. I love the fact that the peace and love, the peace and love. Peace don't and you love, don't yeah. come near me, you scumbags. I'm fucking sick and tired of it. Love you all, peace and love. I'm tired I, of you, yeah. I'm tired, but you know what did it? It fucking got fucked over by that Simpsons episode where he goes, if they've taken the time to write to me, then I will write them back. And that's why he had to release. I feel sorry for the old bastard. He what? sucks. Fuck him. <laughs> yes. Fuck him. I'm sick of him riding this fucking Beatles wave. No, I'm true. sick of it. It's they true. made magic while Lennon was alive for a few fucking years, and yeah. then it split off, and everybody was like, oh, well, I guess the uh, sum was greater than those parts. Well, yeah. <laughs> they all stunk by themselves. You, you, uh, Lennon, you, no, Lennon, you, Lennon sucked. He, Lennon was all right. You know, no, 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 he was all right. By himself, Paul McCartney's over, a Wings had rated. some good songs on it. Wings were all right. But Lennon, you can see, was, Lennon did, uh, McCartney was woman, all about, like, hits. Woman, working class. Working hero, class heroes are amazing. Imagine, imagine starting no. over. Jealous guy no. is a great nah. song. No one Jealous ever talks about days like that. I like that stuff. Imagine. You imagine. Like working class hero? <laughs> Imagine is <laughs> what a baby I am. Yeah. <laughs> no, get some gravy. I'll yeah. put your head in and then suck you in the mouth. That, that's what you. That's what you think of John Lennon. What is your opinion on Obama? Oh, I don't like that gentleman either. Oh, right. I thought you'd... And him. <laughs> Everybody thinks he's poo-pooing it. Yes. I'm tired of John Lennon getting artistic credit because he fucked an ugly Asian boy oh. for 10 years. Oh. That's, That's how you get credit. No credit. Yeah. That's how you get credit as an artist. That's when you're not. You, yeah. If you're not an artist, if you're an ugly dude fucking a hot chick. But if you're an, uh, a decently dude fucking an ugly broad, they're like, this guy's got depth. He <laughs> sees him, what somebody has really to offer. Overrated nah. as a, a, a solo artist, Lennon. Please. No, I, I, I no, disagree. You're wrong. I, I would love Holy. to say that. You're I think wrong. Wings was average. He, 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 I, he, I don't he, think he, Paul McCartney he, was he, doing anything good, but as far as writing hits that people bought fucking millions of records. McCartney had a way better career than Lennon did. But Lennon's stuff is like, we all shine on to great tune, imagine, is working it? class. Yeah, they really you are. Your shine on is a fucking tremendous song. It really is song. an you amazing know, song. He only had a decade. He only had a song decade. I don't mind that song. Okay. You're right. I you like, have, that's he, less than 10 like, years, actually. Yeah, imagine less than 10 is, years. And you think of artists today, how imagine, much music they bring Literally out. one of my least favorite songs of all time. It's up there with Brown Eyed Girl and Blister in the Sun and Lawyers in Love. And what's that fucking... I look at Imagine like that song. Have, have I, did I tell you last time my John Lennon story when I was out here? No, no. Okay, straight up. Straight did up. you ask him to sign something in front of the Dakota? <laughs> no, straight up after I came here, I walked up to the Dakota building because obviously I've never seen a Beatles fan. So I go and stand there. There's that little step that Mark Chapman sat on for three hours and waited for John oh, Lennon to yeah, go out. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he then he waited for him to sign it. Then he, and he, he waited for John Lennon to go away for three hours. He sat there for seven hours waiting for John Lennon, right? Yeah. I go down. I'm with, um, I ask Roman to take a picture. I sit on that step and two security guys come up and go, get off the step, get off the step. And I'm like, I'm just sitting here. And he goes, get off the step. And I went, where the fuck were you 20 years ago? <laughs> 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 well, tw 28 years ago, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And they, and they, they actually, that's really arsy of me. I'm like, oh, no, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> that's great. Uh, Dude, that's uh, that great. album, by the way, is still... Yeah. Is being auctioned or something? It's, it's it has got, a little bit of Lennon's blood on it. it. Yeah, it's got Lennon's blood. What on album? It. The one he was oh, carrying. The one he was what? carrying. It's it's so, it's the last autograph, and it's covered in Lennon's blood. Who, who's who's carrying it? Chapman or Lennon? Bucks. Chapman. Chapman bought the album. He gets it autographed, and then Lennon goes off for some interviews and recording stuff. Comes back a few hours later. He's still sitting there with the album, and then he shoots him. He didn't have the balls to it the first time. There's actually a photo of Chapman and Lennon, and Lennon where he's actually signing the album. There's a photo of that. How? Because there's, there's paparazzi waiting at the front of the oh, building. Yeah. They're always taking pictures John Lennon. They're taking pictures taking of him. Taking a picture of John Lennon. There's, wow. there's a picture of the two of them there with How the How could that signed. be the last autograph you ever signed? Are you going to tell me when he went to do that? Oh, I don't know. That. Well, it's okay. <clears throat> well, you know, it would have been one of oh, the It's last. the last autograph. It's the, it's the last autograph he signed that had his blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> what album was oh, it? There it is. That's the picture. How fucked up is that? That's the picture. He's That's dead. Wild. He's dead three hours later. And there he is. There's Chuck. 
And look at Chapman Smarty's face, like, oh, yeah. meet and John Lennon. That's fucking great. That's fucking great. Bag of shit. What album was it? He should have been killed, Lennon. He, I mean, uh, Double Fantasy. Lennon was killed. I mean, uh, Chapman should <laughs> Jeez, Jim. Should, should have been killed, Lennon. Lennon. <laughs> he should never get out, and he should be executed. To shoot a guy so beloved. We're two guys who think. Yes. <laughs> you should never sign for guys with juicy livery lips. <laughs> well, he was he was due for parole about four or five years he ago. He should just be shot in the head yeah, like a roach. Okay. They'll never let him out. They'll no. never let him out. Never. Although they let fucking, uh, what's his face? John Hankley uh, should yeah. never be able to fucking go visit his family. He could you visit. Never. He could do things. It's Fuck amazing. him. He's like, really? oh, I was, I was crazy back then. That he goes, hey, are you kidding? I had that whole Fucking thing going on. I was nuts. Ah, fucking Jody liberal, sir, and shit. <laughs> and full of James Brady can fucking moonwalk. I don't want that cocksucker going to visit anybody. Oh, God, old fucking dent head. Exactly. What a bummer he is at a party. <laughs> We're all having a few laughs, and then Mr. I Hate Gun shows up. <laughs> when did that oh, happen oh, with Hinkley? Oh. Uh, 1981, I think. Oh. No, that he was released? No, that he got... No, no he gets, like, to leave for an he hour. He goes see his yeah, family yeah, for the weekend. Yeah. And then fucking, you what know... Happened, poor, Jim? poor James Brady right. puts a hat uh, on and part of it sinks in. Who would think the other Brady is the one that got the fatal shot to the face? <laughs> 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 I need this guy to... <laughs> it's been a while. Of course it has. <laughs> What's it, about 40 minutes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I pay this guy to follow me with a newspaper and point at fucking headlines for me? Because I don't know any of the fucking... Uh, this is like the third current event thing you guys talked about where I was like, really? Oh, really? What? what? I, who won the World Series? He'll, 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 uh, he'll point. I, I, fucking guy. Yeah. I need to read more. Are you excited? Philly's going to be a fucking madhouse oh, I'm a today huge, still. I'm happy for I'm them. a huge Philly fan. You know, Philly's fan, so... I'm oh, not a shorts so guy, but I'm yeah. I'm happy for them. That's uh, exciting. City. I have to go down there today, so I'll get some oh. picks. I'll be in Philly next week. I'm doing book signings in New York, Long Island, fucking uh, Philadelphia, Boston, Rhode Island, all that wow. all next week. We're all and over then, the uh, place. Yeah. My DC, t I know it's a lot of plugs. My DC tickets for December 5th go on sale tomorrow morning at Ticketmaster. Uh, it's right outside DC. It's at the State Theater of Virginia, mm -hmm. which I've done before. Oh, because you won't be allowed in DC after uh, November. Uh, Why? Well. Whites, oh, they're going to block it off, and no white people are going to be allowed no in, more um, white people in DC. <laughs> in there DC. aren't any now, except for where the fucking politicians really? are. Really? Right. Oh, it's Maybe everything gun. will reverse. <laughs> and, like, the white people will be all outside the White House. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that Chris Rock picture. Oh. Is that where he becomes the president, and, and then all mixed up. And they're all dancing inside. Yeah, and then Steve Martin <laughs> tried to do something else unfunny. Oh, uh, who played the sassy <laughs> black girl shit. in that one? I, I imagine Queen Latifah. Oh, uh, she's always so sassy. Enough of her and her fucking the shitty blonde wig hair. Pop. <laughs> I love how she's on fucking Revlon ads like she's a model. Exactly. Put that big fat fucking face up there. You look like a stop sign. Well, she does have a <laughs> lipstick ad. She just stands by giant furniture so she looks slender. <laughs> Did you see the like trailer? Her face. Did you see the trailer for a new movie with uh, with that little cunt uh, Dakota Fanning's in it? Oh, all right. And, uh, <laughs> Jesus, that was that was actually an adjective and a noun. <laughs> they, they, uh, <laughs> they play, she plays like a southern mother of a family, and, like in the commercial she's like hey little darling and it's like literally like if i was like hey can you do a southern accent and you're like oh uh, yeah sure yeah, i can yeah. you know what i mean no hey, tables no training nothing you know an irish accent uh, why sure letty you know what i mean just fucking winging it like there's... uh not even get, coming close right yeah i was i want to see it just to see how much he falls in and out of it it's gonna be like costner and fucking jfk going in and out of that fucking right. boston draw <laughs> And also, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer in Dangerous Mind. Yeah, that was another And uh, lost one. her accent. Mm -hmm. Jim, uh, you were doing the... What, what's the Liverpool accent? What's the difference between, like, Liverpool and London? Because fucking... Jeff, you don't realize how many different English accents there are. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's, 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 there's difference from Liverpool to Manchester to Leeds are completely different, and they're all 40 miles apart from each other. What's the fucking Liverpool? Liverpool's just more like fucking... Um, Oh, yes. uh, I, I'll tell you, a, a good person, if you can get something like a clip of someone like Daniel Lloyd talking, that's a perfect Liverpool, or Paul O'Grady is a really good well, one. You had it. How did you do it? It's just fucking great. Just, just really up high and just say things are fucking boss. I'm having a fucking great time. I really enjoy New York. I think it's a wonderful town. And then West London. London's more like fucking great, you know, London, right? You know, so <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I fucking glass the cunt, didn't I? I came near me and I fucking went in. That's wow. everything. That's, 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 like, that's the Cockney thing, which is a bit more. How come some people like, like. Uh, but there's different accents like, in areas. Oh, that's, that's what I thought. 
That's what I thought. And that's what I thought. Like, that's more that's, fuck you. That's what I thought. Instead of TH. No, no, no. It's it's like, that's more what I thought. You go, what are you doing? In it. In it. Instead of, isn't it? In it. In it. In it. Yeah. Um, and then there's Birmingham. And Birmingham's like, anyone from Birmingham it's sounds like they've got, they've got like Down syndrome. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's that whole, all right, I'm from Birmingham. It's a really, really nice poem. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I used to do a joke about it. Go, what does someone with Down syndrome from Birmingham sound like? Hi, my name's Kevin. Because that'd be... <laughs> <laughs> What's the most hardcore British accent like? The most cockney. The, the most hardcore is a really, really thick Scottish accent. Oh, wow, is, yeah. is, is pretty hardcore. Or, high or, or, or a Welsh accent understand. where they're, they're, they're sort of doing half <laughs> half words, half Welsh. You can't even understand that what? shit. Huh? What's that telling? Oh, I can't even do a Welsh impersonation. If, if I did it, it would sound like I was doing an Indian one. It's, it's a really difficult voice to do. It's it. There, there's, there's places that... That I've lived in England for so long that London's very easy to get along because it's such a multicultural place. But you go up to some places in Scotland, I don't know what they're saying. And I think, oh, is it because I'm Australian? But then I'll be like an English mate and he'll go, no, I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> no, clue, no, no, no idea what they're saying. You like go into McDonald's and you just go, I just asked for a hamburger, mate. <laughs> what the fuck you is know, that? He's saying? been saying you want fries with that for like 10 hours. It's like, what was that so... movie with um, Brad Pitt when they're just. California! Oh, oh, snatch! Oh, snatch! Oh, snatch! Oh, I tried too hard to get the answer right. Oh! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> too hard to get the oh, answer guy. That's a character. That's a, that's a that's a pikey sort of that's a Northern Irish type of you know. That, yeah, that, yeah I get it. Do you like dogs? Right, you, know, you have ten minutes to leave the building. That Northern Ireland one, that terrorist accent. <laughs> Belfast. No, no, that's what it is. Belfast. It's, yeah. it, it's I remember it as a terrorist one because when we were kids in the eighties, that's what the whole thing they were going. But that was the, that's the whole joke that all the hack comics do. They go, you can say what you want about the IRA, but at least they used to call. Which, you know, like, the terrorists now just kill people. The, the, the IRA used to call. Oh, they used to call. They used, they used to put a bomb in a building and then go, you have 10 minutes to leave the building. <laughs> the whole building's got to blow up. We just thought we should tell <laughs> you. Right? Call. Yeah, so everyone evacuates from the building and they blow up the building and go, think what could have happened. It could have been terrible, but now you've just got to rebuild that. And that's, that's going you know, to that's take some time funny. up, isn't it? And you're not going to want to do that. I saw a clip <laughs> of a truck bombing. Yeah. Uh, in England, and it was back from when the IRA was, oh, you know, oh, doing this their shenanigans. Oh, this is in Manchester. When Manchester they, yeah. was such a shithole. <laughs> the IRA blew the fuck out of it. They re rebuilt the place. It's fucking lovely now. <laughs> Without the IRA, Manchester would still be a hunk a of shit. <laughs> they had a truck bomb, and uh, apparently enough time to clear everyone the fuck out. Yeah. No one was there, and then it blew it, up. It blew a whole fuck up, in front of a building up. It blew up about four or five square blocks. Amazing. But, Jesus Christ! And and and, it, and now we've got a big shopping center thank, there. Thank they built a lovely, happened. lovely That's walkway great. with a little river and stuff. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> the, the, the bit <laughs> where the great. IRA blew up is the nicest bit in Manchester. Everything around it's still shit. <laughs> I'm saying blow up the whole fucking thing and start again. Who are they kneecapping? They would kneecap you where they put a gun behind your leg and they oh. blow out your knee. Don't look at me. Well, I don't know. So the, so the, so the thing is that the, oh, the, the, the IRA—they <laughs> were right. You don't know kneecapping? No. That's where they take the gun. In the crook of your leg from the back, and they shoot from the back Jesus through Christ. your fucking knee. How do no. you fix that? You got to go to the doctor. It's a whole thing. You got to yeah. hobble. Yeah. You gotta, oh, it's a mess. You need oh. orthopedic shoes. Yes, no shoes and pants. Do you know how much it hurts to fucking get your knee shot through on purpose? Yeah. No. No, if I know. If I really wanted to torture someone, I think that's what I'd do. Blow their kneecaps off. I've thought about this several times in my in life. In movies, that's always a brutal thing. Like, you watch people get shot in the head or the chest, and they fall down, they're dead, and it's like, all right, you know, the guy's killed. When you see someone get two, one in each kneecap, and they hit the ground and go, ah! Oh, dude, it's Everybody rough. Everybody goes like, oh! I think it was it's rough. rough. I think it it's was rough. rough. Right on the groin. They hit a dude no. in the fucking knees with a bat or some shit. Yeah. Oh, no, the God, groin's flesh. Once it's blown off, it's blown off. Through, through bones oh. and nerve. Yeah, that's true. But I wouldn't want to get shot in the groin either because I never actually put my knee in a girl's face and made go. <laughs> I could live without a face. Knee. Yeah, that part in Pulp Fiction where he shoots the guy in the dick, that's fucking yeah. brutal. And he's just on the ground. Yeah. Oh, God, it's fucking horrible. That's, yeah. That dude apparently has done a lot of shit, Peter Green. And that's all I know him from is the that's guy that got you know shot in the from. dick. Yeah. I can't even remember. Oh, Zed. Occasionally, Zed shows up. Um, uh, Brett shows up. The, guy, the, the kid that gets fucking shot at the beginning of the uh, of the movie. Um, in the oh yeah, oh, he's oh Frank Whaley. Say what? Say what, motherfucker? One more time. Yeah, oh, yeah tremendous actor. I saw him actually at a, recently in a party for uh, the Pacino De Niro. Premier. Right, right. Yeah, he was Frank there. Whaley was at the party. Yeah, I saw him. Did you also, see that? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Um, uh, Sam uh, Jackson. Nash. Oh. Uh, the cop. <laughs> the cop. 
Marvin Nash. Marvin Nash. Nash. Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Marvin Dogs. Nash. I've never seen that oh, guy. I've seen him pop theory. up in a few things, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? And it's just rack. I'm racking my brain, and then, uh, you know, Internet but, Movie Database takes away. Burr and I were watching that one night. Anymore. We were watching it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, it's cool. We were watching that one night, and we were in my apartment, and we were just screaming that at each other. What the fuck are they waiting for? <laughs> Marvin Nash. It's like 2 a.m. We're Nash. screaming that in my fucking apartment. It was really funny at the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it was funny now. It was good. Yeah, you know. Michael Madsen, as a sociopath of that, is it's chilling because he fucking means it. Nothing He's you so say mellow. He doesn't, is yeah. going to stop him from uh, torturing you with a fucking razor. It's so awful. Yeah. That is the scariest, most frightening <sighs> line I've ever heard in a movie is when, literally, when he goes... You can say whatever you want. Yeah. I'm going to torture you anyway. I was like, that, that is so fucking scary, yeah. man. I don't, I don't, you I don't that, give a fuck what you know or don't know. I'm going to torture you anyway. I'm going to torture you anyway. And there, you know there's no will. bargaining with him at that point. You can't like, okay, look. I understand what you just said. Now listen to me. Give me a chance now to communicate to you. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're so fucked. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's like dealing yeah. with a shitty ex-girlfriend. And she's just like, now, now, now. You know, you're like... I'm uh, fucked. Another br brilliant part of that whole scene was uh, when he goes out to the trunk to get the gasoline. Mm. And you hear the, the fucking music is playing. This guy's in agony, blood, fucking cut his ear off. And then he walks outside, and they follow him. And the door shuts, and you hear the tweeting birds and kids playing, and it's just quiet. Oh, it's, it's like, beautiful. It gives you this, ah. And you hear the music yeah, yeah, ever so barely. slightly from in the warehouse. Tarantino uh, and Scorsese do it so well. So, but so few directors have realized the importance of a soundtrack in a movie yeah. and how much music really means. That's one of the things that ruined that De Niro Pacino movie. Their acting was good in it, and the script yeah. itself wasn't terrible. It was, it was an all right script. Better than indie? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Oh, the script it was, was really good. I wish you continued success. It wasn't, but this is, <laughs> uh, hold on. No, no, let me just I've make read, a point. I read, I read fucking better written things written by retarded children, like when they're describing a tree and a sun they painted. <laughs> Sorry. Let me, let me, let me just make Say this written point. one more time. I've written, 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 W R I double T E. Fucking cunt face, no improver. Spoil everything. <laughs> the script was nothing spectacular, but it wasn't a horrible script. But the movie was so poorly fucking directed. Yeah. There was needless effects. There was that shitty first person thing that they do where it's like <sighs> the killers sneaking into the house. He's the same guy who did 88 minutes, by the way. He's yeah, terrible. And the soundtrack sucked like he didn't he, the way he used music was so fucking bad i'm like i don't understand why directors don't if you want to be a director you're familiar with scorsese you're familiar with tarantino you're familiar with all yeah. the it's like how could you not know how to put robert rodriguez does it uh, yeah in, like in, like dust till dawn when him well that's tarantino also but fuck well He's rodriguez great. directed it though yeah, yeah. the music though is really important and shit like that yeah uh, really yeah. Makes the moment. Who did better than Clockwork Orange with his classical music uh, to violence? Like the uh, yeah. gang fight to fucking classical music. It was, like, that joy, was wasn't it? It was Corey. It was almost like a dance. It was so fucking brilliant. Yeah. Man. I mean, that was. <laughs> did you know they commissioned uh, the Rat Pack, Sinatra? Was, they were supposed to do that movie in the very, very early 60s with the Rat Pack. Are you wow. shitting me? I swear to God, in the quote from Sinatra, they didn't do it. And they said when Sinatra was asked why he passed in the film, he goes, I couldn't understand a goddamn word in the script. <laughs> you guys picture him doing I couldn't understand. <laughs> all angry. They, would have ruined, they offered it to Mick Jagger, too, before Malcolm. Really? That yes. might have been all right. I think Mick Jagger's actually... Half decent sometimes. Maybe, but Malcolm. I like I like him well, yeah. next, Mick Jagger. I like how uh, Jimmy like once Nate said Kelly. Malcolm McDowell. Yeah. Like he was he was young in that, and the day after that movie, he turned like a hundred years old. He's fucking. He had white hair in nineteen in, in fucking like uh, December of seventy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, him and Steve Martin. It's like what <laughs> happened to him? He's one of those guys that were. Uh, uh, it's a blessing and a curse to kind of look young when you're not young, and then. And he, You're all of a sudden overnight an old person. <laughs> he's got, what's it called? He's got Dennis Hopper syndrome. He made one great fucking movie. Dennis no. Hopper topped out an Easy Rider, and then it was... Hey, like, Waterworld. <laughs> Caligula. Malcolm don't McDowell forget about Caligula. Super Mario Brothers. He's great in that. Oh. Yeah. Dennis Hopper was in that Rhea Perlman sitcom, After Cheers. Oh. And it was, the, that guy has been in, like, I mean, what the fuck happened, man? No, Malcolm McDowell yeah. was in that. That was Malcolm, yeah, Malcolm McDowell. McDowell. Malcolm McDowell's done some uh, shitty stuff too sure over has. the years. Oof. He did a movie oh. called If, 
in like 1969, and mm -hmm. then he did fucking Clockwork, and Caligula was great. Yeah, but that uh, was not was really the, a mainstream movie. What was the time movie, Back in Time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Back to the Future. Yeah. Back, to, Back the future. to the Future. No. Yeah, that was it. He was in Back to the Future 3. Yeah. No, the other one. Yeah, he it? played Buford Tannen. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> Bill and Ted's Excellent Tannen. Adventure. <laughs> No, that was I love, oh, I that love was Bill great. and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That's no. my second favorite time traveling movie. And George Carling as Rufus. That's a great one. Bogus Journey sucks though. Oh yeah, that sucks, yeah. But that's speaking of that, that's what I always thought should have been the plot of Back to the Future Three. They should have been jumping all over time to try to fix the events of two instead of saying we're just gonna go back to the old west. Oh, and wrap up two you mean the three two shouldn't have been wrapped up. Well, two wasn't. Two was left open ended, and he had to get back to the West to to get out of the fifty. Whatever the fuck happened. No, but but he had fixed what like Biff fucked up with the sports almanac. He fixed that. Although getting rid of the Biff Tannen Museum it pisses me off because imagine going to the Biff Tannen Museum. You you would that him. would have been fantastic. Learning how Biff <laughs> made his fortune. Oh wait a minute. What? <laughs> Do I do I hear it? I love that. <laughs> God bless America. Fifth time in the American dream. I, I, I wanted to hear the introduction yeah. that everyone hears yeah. when they enter the Big yeah. Cannon Museum, <laughs> you fucker. Hey, you, you guys are working Tom Wilson, yeah? Is that? Tom, the guy who plays Biff, the stand-up. Oh, you know I, mean? I didn't know even know him. I'm like, no, who's he's, that? He's a, good, he's, a, he's a good guy. He is a stand-up. He, he's not a bad... He does a song called Stop Asking Me the Questions, which is, no, it's not Mimu. It's good YouTube. It's really? Funny. Yeah, he does a funny little song about being... How old is he? Oh, he's like fucking... He's late 40s That'd now. Be. At least. Right? But the thing is, he's a good guy. He'll drink with you. He's packed on the pounds a bit. But uh, <laughs> halfway through the night, I'm getting pissed with Biff, right? And his name's Tom, obviously, but you don't know that when you're drunk. <laughs> you're Biff. like, oh, Biff, it's your round. <laughs> oh, he must fucking and hate you that. You feel like the biggest cunt ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're another cunt. You feel, uh, as soon as I said it, I went, I'm a fucking dick. I just called you Biff, man. Shit, what did so. he do? Did he just like, all right? Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, you Is he British? You, no, no, he's American. You tube him. Tom Wilson, and he has a, it's like a two-minute song of him going, stop answer, asking me the questions. He's very interesting. Mate. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a song guy. He's a Is he player. really? Yeah, he's a song guy. He's he like. known. He, uh, he, dude, he's so good in those movies. Like, he's genuinely a really funny dude and a good actor. I'm like, why did he not? What happened? Or was he just that stereotype? So typecast as Biff. Hurts typecast, at, at that point, you're no, just, Tom, you're Tom Wilson, he was, uh... Was he, it that, like... Yeah, he's got white hair, yeah. Now. Was it like playing Luke Skywalker, like that kind of thing? Corvette Summer was even bigger than Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Biff Tannen Museum? Ladies and gentlemen... Welcome to the Biff Tannen Museum, <laughs> dedicated to Hill Valley's number one citizen and America's greatest living folk hero, he built this the himself. one and only Biff Tannen. <laughs> of course, we've all heard the legend. We all but who is the this man? is like when you enter my house. Yeah. This is the same. Biff Tannen like Biff, do you think Biff wrote this himself? Men in America. Learn the amazing Learn. history of the Tannen family, starting with his great grandfather Buford Dog, Mad Dog up Tannen, for three. fastest gun in the West. See Biff's humble beginnings humble. and how a trip to the racetrack on his twenty-first birthday. I love the picture of him in the paper at this point, where he's squinting, just kind of yeah. Made him a millionaire overnight. Where's the part? They didn't play it. Where's the part where he goes? I love when he goes, God bless America. Yeah. And he gives her that fucking kiss with all the tongue. <laughs> Listen, and he grabs her and starts kissing her. Yeah. He's like raping her right after Marrying they get married. his again. high school sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> fucking head. Almost raping his high school sweetheart. No means yes. <laughs> You're in the 50s. <laughs> uh, yeah, he must have just been typecast after that. I mean. Uh, oh, Michael J. Fox had a career before that, you so it wasn't like you could do three movies. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, uh, you know, Doc Brown had a, a, a career with Taxi, so but he was just fucking Biff. Christopher Lloyd and everything is Doc Brown. He yeah, plays I know. Doc. Taxi. On Taxi, he was, yeah, Doc, was Doc Brown, Brown. except he didn't Whoa! have a time machine. <laughs> and he's drunk Doc Brown on Taxi. <laughs> you, can't, you can't interview him, can you? He's like a really nervous bloke. He, can't, he doesn't do interviews and stuff, because he's one in Britain. He just sat there really? quietly. Yeah, he just like... That's he's a really up. unpersonal sort of guy. Is he, is he well known in Britain? No, well, the movies can't be known everywhere. Is everybody, everyone knows that movie. They still show Taxi on TV in Britain, so that's a funny show, right? It's a funny show. I like Taxi. Danny DeVito's best work. Yeah, by far. Yeah. 
Yeah. He, played, he, played, he, he played a good little Jesus, weasley what is freak. This? <laughs> fucking throwing music in on every fucking David Devito is one of my favorite. How fast was that? How fast were they with the taxi song? I know. Well, Derek fucking on the board. Good night, sir. That fucking kid knows theme songs. <laughs> All right. You know, I was watching Mr. Belvedere the other day. Yeah, well, <laughs> and uh, I'm saying to myself, <laughs> you know, they don't <laughs> make shows like this they anymore. They really don't. Like different strokes of the facts yeah, of yeah, life yeah. or yeah. Sanford and Son or all that. Growing pains. Hurry up, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Super Train was a great Jesus show. Jesus fucking Very underrated. Christ. It had the same love boat. Yeah. I know. You can watch stars were on a and train. Yeah, and you can watch Rocky right after. What are we doing? Listen yeah. to the taxi. Guys, We're four hours behind. I was you. watching I... Airwolf the other day. Yes. And, uh, oh, just Air give us the A team. We all want the A team. Everyone loves <laughs> that. Play the A team already before we fucking fire you yeah. and break your shitty watch. <sighs> Ah. There it goes. That's great. How does that make you feel good, this easy? How they can it's fire. It's like the Indiana Jones music. All those rounds of ammunition and not ever kill one exactly. person. Exactly. They always had to show the person crawling out of the rolled vehicle yeah. and then doing the, oh, darn it. Yeah. If you no. can find them, they can help you. Yes. Is there anything greater than George Papard, though? Wouldn't, don't you just want to be on some kind of team or project? Well, they, they, they no, that's he's dead. dead. <laughs> they, they, they did, it. They did yeah, a TV dead. show uh, called... Uh, uh, reuniting the A-Team. There's this guy, Justin Lee Collins, in, a, in Britain who's on TV. He has these good little shows where he comes out and he just knocks on people's houses and tries to get Dallas back together or whatever. He tried to get the A-Team back together and he found Mr. T just jogging in a park. He found Face begging for money. And, and you know, like, Dirt Benedict and all those stuff. And they all said the same thing. Papad was a cunt. Really? They no. Like him, well, Papad was all, a fucking... He was like an actor. All three of them hated Papad. He had a career. Is, it's hard to say. Papard, Papard, Papard. Mr. Papard. He did have a career in movies, though, and he was in Breakfast in Tiffany's. Stupid fucking TV show. That's a good point. With the guy from Battlestar Galactica. That's like, probably. Of yeah. course, he was a cunt. He he was better than those people. It's probably how Leslie Nielsen felt on oh, the set yeah. of Airplane. He's like, Airplane. you know, you fucking hand jobs. I'm not here for a fucking paycheck. <laughs> yeah. I'm an actor. <laughs> yeah. I'm a real actor, asshole. I'm sitting here with William Shatner. Are we just Jesus gonna keep on doing this show until no one's left? Everybody yeah, that's what we're doing. Everyone's yeah. bailing out. Danny's holding up signs that say we only have nine minutes left or the computer cuts as well. Jim, we're the uh, new right. host of the Opie and Anthony yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. We, just, we just franchised <laughs> it out. Joe if, and Jim, um, come on. Let's if, bring it uh, on. We have to do a line of the day. You want to? Uh, we well, we could at least do the, the sponsor. We'll just do the plug for oh, it. I always like line of the day. I've never won. Why don't we just go right to number one? <laughs> We can do that. Fuck the runners we'll up. We'll just do line of the we'll day. We'll go right to number one. Of course, the line of day is brought to you by WebEx.com. Hold meetings. You make presentations and do it from the comfort of your own home or office. Check it out. Go to WebEx.com, our a grand sponsor of line of the day. And let's go right to it. Fuck the runners up. There's only a winner here. Uh, what is the line of the day? Here. Pump and circumstance. I love it. Line of the day. Line of the day. Watch out for old Tex Tannen. Mom? Old oh, Tex Tannen. <laughs> oh, God, it sucked. It was like a made for TV. That movie was like when they did Facts of Life Go to Europe. <laughs> you're like, oh. There's a little improv stand up for you. Yeah. Sweet. Look at that. You slip right in and get line I'm, of the day. Yeah. Half the fucking show, not even. A couple of, what were you here, 10 minutes? <laughs> and you get line of the fucking day? You did line of the day already? Yeah. We did in the runners up. I've never, no, I've we didn't never do runners won. Up, I've never won. I think I'm, I'm sure you're in runners up. You're very uh, funny uh, today. <laughs> it was nice that people weren't throwing things you don't like at you. I won't say anything, but it was nice to have you here. Uh, and not be abused by certain things. I, uh, I did. Yeah. My, oh my god! I fucking. Fu uh -huh. Am I supposed no, to do? Uh, is yeah. there an acceptance like speech or something that goes with line of the day? Uh, no, it no. means it means nothing. She said yes. <laughs> yeah. You can you can be the yeah. first person to give out your fucking plug. Well, we gave a thousand dollars to some girl for spinning on a pole today, and you use comedy genius, and you get nothing. I nothing. just well, I just want to say, yeah, who thought time. when I was watching trannies masturbate by themselves that I'd get to line of the day? God yeah. damn it! You know what? It's funny, but that you. You just spoke my mind. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But what about this? such an amazing <laughs> show? Laugh to start, on that, it wasn't a confession. What did he speak? Bomb. <laughs> the show started. <laughs> yes, he, he thought he said dud, and all of a sudden I piped up. <laughs> that wasn't even a bomb because a bomb has magnitude. That was a fucking. Dud. A dud. Mentally and, and fucking vocally. It hit the ground and the fins are sticking out of the soil. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, a bomb has a noise. This is what that was. 
<laughs> what I plink. What I just said was it that? No, me. Oh, I, oh. I said I just I. The hammer joke? No, no, the hammer joke from hours ago. That was yeah, that totally was a bomb. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was a rope stopper. Yeah. What was your dud? I didn't hear it. Um, because you brought your brain probably blocked it out like a fucking <laughs> early early life rape. We we are going to be uh, cut off by the uh, okay, master. master, master Plugs, computer. Joe. Yeah, I'll be at uh, Gotham uh, Comedy Club in New York this weekend, Friday night, Halloween, and Saturday. And please listen to Uninformed on the Virus Two Hundred Two with Bill, Bill Burr and myself. Thank you, Young James. I will be at Caroline's tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. And I think I'm back here tomorrow, so I'll plug them again. Then. Highly recommended, man. Very funny gentleman. Thank you, uh, Caroline's, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a good place too. <laughs> and tomorrow, uh, our Halloween party tomorrow night at the uh, Hard Rock. What seven to ten? Yes, uh, right there in Times Square. So that ought to be fun. Yep, I'm going fun. to that. You're going to dress up, Jimmy? I I might have a little something planned. <laughs> I might not show up, but I, I have a friend who may come dressed. <laughs> Hermaphrodite, oh! the Hermaphrodite's coming. Oh, oh no, right. a friend of mine owns a costume emporium, and he may actually oh, be dressing Jesus up. Jesus Christ. Well, look forward to that. Uh, I'm going to come dressed as Norton so that people think he's there. Great. <laughs> just have fucking, just get dropped out of the Enola Day after a couple of highlights. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, and, and also, uh, I have uh, my book signings yes. all start next week, starting Monday here in New York at the Borders. I did my happy ending signing at in time in Penn Station. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll be fucking me seeing you and steve has walked into the room so this means the fun is officially right. over and the ass fucking uh, starts it's time to uh, leave until tomorrow which is friday this party starts tomorrow my friends and bye. we'll see you then bye, bye.